Crew Season Podcast. We are back again. This is episode 85. 85. Me. 85. Kenny T is in the building. OT is in the building. What's a P with no plan and what's a hoe with no hustle? Yes! <laughs> Smooth is in the motherfucking building. What's cracking? I'm D Trill AC. This is another episode of the Crew Season Podcast. How are you fellas doing on this glorious night? Excellent, baby. I'm good. I'm good. Let's start partying, baby. You know, so you know let's get my bag. Fuck. Been in it. All right. Well, welcome back, Kenny. Shut up, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> welcome back, bitch. <laughs> I'm trying sleep. to be nice. All right. Now, I see how this going to go. So when you catch some strays, nigga. I'm talking too loud, nigga. When you catch some strays, when you catch some strays. Energy. I like it. We're going to see. Speaking of fighting. Wait your name tag. We're going to see. Speaking of fighting, the baby recently in the bowling alley. Video hit the timeline. Uh, We covered the baby and Danny Lay a couple, I think, months back or something, if I'm not mistaken. He was recording. uh, They was beefing, whatever the case may be. At this time, Danny Lay's brother was in jail, from what I'm hearing. He gets out of jail. Of course, he has an issue with the baby, so he approaches the baby, hearing that he's at a bowling alley. In my opinion, I think they was doing, like, an event or something because they had a bunch of, like, high-priced cameras in there recording it. Mm -hmm. But dude walks up on the baby party in the bowling alley, and I guess he said he went there to talk, but it looked like he came there to press him. And if y'all know the baby, y'all know the baby's not going for that. So as soon as he did that, the baby swung on him, and they was, you know, boxing it out. In the middle of a lane, and if y'all never been bowling, <laughs> don't step foot on no damn bowling lane. <laughs> they were crazy ass lane. They were sliding around, <laughs> crazy. So I mean, it might have been really two punches land, two three punches land. The rest of it, they was just trying mm-hmm. to slide and get, some, and get footing. It was some slams. But uh, but yeah, the security guard grabbed dude by his braids. I, I, I seen that one. Grabbed him by his braids that and was crazy. ragdolling him around the, that greasy ass lane. I don't even know, but. This was my situation. When I first seen it, I seen the fight and all that, and I was like, cool, all right, damn, that's crazy. But at the corner of my eye, I see the cameraman. <laughs> so if y'all ain't seen the footage, go back and watch the footage and look at the cameraman. No, he wasn't trying to get it. You think he was recording the fight? Bro, did you see the camera? He was holding the camera, pointing at it, slipping the slide, but he didn't fall. That's what That's what stood out mm-hmm. to it. People was in the comments like, yeah, that, that was uh, a, a Mari cameraman, <laughs> Mari Povich. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> but he didn't miss he didn't miss a punch. You know what I mean? So, but that was the funniest part to me. But say all that to say the baby got a pretty violent history. A lot of his situations done been uh made national news. This is just another one that's in line with that. So what was y'all thoughts when y'all seen the video? Man? First off, hey, hey. I like what he did, like what a day two two days after uh the event That was like he the same to, day No I'm talking about Two days after that He went to LA Because they shut it down Y'all heard that freestyle I heard that yeah. freestyle Shut it down He was cooking out. So I, re- I respect everything That he, he did yeah. He mm. was supposed to Slam that boy on his face He was talking greasy And now you want to talk Can he actually, we talk He actually missed he that punch He did miss the punch He missed he that did. first punch He, he did. knocked his drink out of his hand He did and then everybody else handed up on. But I don't respect. That. I don't respect the jumping though. Yeah, I, I was gonna ask that question. When it, when it's a situation like that, I don't respect the jumping though because he dolo. He dolo. He but, but I'm on the fence about it because that's his security. I understand. So that. that's what they're supposed to do. But, and if you by yourself and you trying to call one nigga out, it's not gonna always be fair. That's true. Well, we know how we know how people talk, man. We know how people move. You know what I'm saying? Tell you what, if I'm paying security twenty <laughs> you see fifty thousand dollars, exactly. I don't want to lift a hand. Exactly. You hit me. So I get that. I get that part. But if a nigga come in there dolo and it's me, I'm telling my security, this is what I've been waiting for. <laughs> <laughs> get ragged all through the <laughs> I'm, pay- I'm paying y'all just so I don't get jumped out here. <laughs> but shit like this. All right, so I need you to sit back. All right, so if the security fall back and dude, dude just get the whooping on you, knock you out cold, Never. then, then, Never. then stand call over for you. Never. Then, then stand over you. What the, the fuck camera. I pay y'all for? Put the cameras up. Take every phone in here. <laughs> <laughs> I know what I told you to do, but you're not supposed to listen to what I told you to do. <laughs> hey, y'all fine. Everybody, I'm pressing charges on y'all. <laughs> you see you fine. Face? You fine. You fine. <laughs> you see me get my ass beat over here? <laughs> you told me to let me let him go, boss. Well, y'all ain't do nothing when you trust him. Um, now y'all want to listen to me? 
Yeah, nah, man. I'm, I mean, and I, I understand, like, from the baby's perspective, he damn near got an image to uphold now at mm-hmm. this point. He didn't, he didn't dug that ditch. So, say, for instance, dude came up and quote unquote pressed him and he turned it down. He's like, nah, I'm cool, bro. I don't really want no problems. Mm-hmm. That, oh, that goes against everything that he didn't lay down thus far. That's he why. He in the smoke. Right. Oh, he's soft. He just said, and then on top of it, everybody not liking him right now. That would have just oh, could you imagine? Oh, but, that, but that freestyle put him back where he need to be. <laughs> I can't hate. He went on LA Leakers and just tore the building down. He ain't even let the beat breathe when it started. He, he you right? Oh, don't he just start ripping. I was like, ooh. He did. So Kenny, you in the bowling alley with the family? Man. Kenny getting stumped out. One of these niggas from a rival podcast come up. Give you that full right, court press. <laughs> I don't know why they say. And what rival? Press, rival podcast. <laughs> Catch Kenny at the bowling alley with the fam. You know what I'm saying? Security. And he say, hey, man, I need that. What you doing in that situation? Man? I'm going home. <laughs> when you say go home. You mean get put to sleep? Like, <laughs> I'm getting in my car and I'm going home. You just walking away casually? I'm walking away. Mm. Too old for that shit. Niggas is crazy nowadays. People like to shoot people. Though you absolutely right. They not scared of jail. They ain't scared of prison. That's right. They ain't scared of none of that shit. But he come up to you wanting to have a conversation. You gonna have the conversation? He ain't come up having no. Co- what did he just say? Did you hear what he, he said? He said he came to press you. <laughs> did you hear what he said to me? <laughs> what I want that. I want a conversation. He wasn't trying to fight. He said he wants you. He wants something that I don't want to give him. He wants wants two cheeks. Uh, (laughs) Ski daddy. I'm not doing it. Too old for that shit. (laughs) He's going. (laughs) And then when you think I left the build up, come sneak him. And if he don't drop, I'm running back. <laughs> Security. <laughs> Security. Get that nigga, he don't drop. What yeah. you gonna do? Look here, man. I'm I'm all for like security, man. Especially like once you get to a certain pedestal as far as money, as far as things to lose. He got three kids. Like I can't like how long can you be tough forever before that catch up to you? Facts. That's that's how I look at it. You know what I'm saying? Like everybody know that I'm that I'm about business. Whenever it's time to be on whenever it's time to stand on business, I'm gonna stand on business. But it's like I don't. I shouldn't feel the need to have to prove that every single time, every single time, especially when I'm paying security twenty thousand plus. I don't want to lift a finger. I'm out here with my family. I'm out here chilling or with my with my guys or whatever. I don't want y'all to put no hands on them. Security, please escort him away from far as far away from me as possible. Period. But doing that now, you know. Dude probably gonna sue if we gonna keep it real, cause he gonna be petty, cause that's that's Danny, that's baby's baby mama's brother. So he gonna be petty. He know Danny Lay don't like him. So now I'm about to have to pay this man, cause we done grabbed him by his ponytails and slung him all across the greasy boulder lane. It's like, nah, I'm sorry, man. I I don't know, man. I'm I'm with Kenny. I'm getting too old. What is Danny Lay? Like, what is she? She like a singer or something? You no, know I mean like her ethnicity. Oh, I'm not. Uh, Spanish and. Mixed with Spanish and something, but I'm, I'm not sure. Brother, exactly brother was throwing out a lot of, lot of ends. Are you saying you take offense to the Spanish community saying the N words? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> <laughs> that is is he corner. Hispanic though? He is. Yeah, he is. I don't, I, just, uh, I guess it depends on where you at, because you know some people are cool with it, some people not. I'm asking you. Are you cool with it? Spanish dude around here just throwing the N word around every other word. To be honest, not all the way. Mm-hmm. Like I kind of, they can kind of relate. So from that aspect, I kind of understand in the sense because mm-hmm. they went through a lot of struggles that we went through. Not at not not near as bad, but ah. similar struggles. So from that aspect, I kind of understand. But eh, I feel like that's that belongs should belong to one person, one 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 group. I, I honestly just want to just get rid of the word all together. We're going to be honest. I do. Um, because it's just like, for one, like, it just makes me uncomfortable seeing anybody but us say it. But as the older I get, ironically, it makes me feel uncomfortable hearing us say it. Okay. Even when I slip up and say it up top, I'm like, damn. When you when you watching the video back, you're like, damn. Like, it just don't, it's just like, ah, it's just not necessary. 
It's just not. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I we feel gotta, it. You know what I'm saying? We got an extensive enough vocabulary to find something else. I feel it. But, like, when, when you're younger, of course, you just, you know what I'm saying? Like, you just talking reckless or whatever. But I think the older I get, the more I'm concerned about, like, our image. Especially as black men. I feel like we, we, we really need to revamp our image. And I think that, you know, I think we just need to get rid of that word altogether. But in terms of other cultures saying it, hell no. Nah. I, don't, I don't feel comfortable around. I don't care who it is. I'm, I just don't. And I don't feel like nobody went through what, what we went through. You know what I'm saying? Everybody got, got their own struggle, sure. But none of them was comparable to us. None of them. So, yeah, nah. That's how I look at it. But we're going to stay in music, man. Uh, news broke. Snoop Dogg now owns Death Row Records. Goddamn me. Let's get out of here. We got Kendrick Lamar going over there after he dropped his last TBE project. Yeah, he uh he uh, bought it from uh Monopoly Brothers on it, I think, didn't he? Yeah, I think so. <clears throat> yeah, the, the Monopoly family on it. So now Snoop Dogg owns it. It's just it's just interesting how full circle that came. When I first seen that story, I immediately thought about like, damn. I mean, Snoop was probably the pivotal artist, the first like big artist on on the label. So I think it's dope, but I also think about all that money that Suge just threw away, man. He was worth like six hundred million at one point, mm-hmm. and he wanted to be in the streets. He wanted to be out here beating people up, shooting people, whatever, risking that bag until they finally got him out of there, and then snatched that company <coughs> right from up under his hands. Biggest record label in the whole world at that point. So is he like the sole owner, or is it like a majority? Or I'm not sure. I'm I'm not sure, but I, I know it can't be that expensive. I think it was just a matter of them getting it from up under, um, the the Monopoly Brothers. But I mean, I'm, I'm I mean, it can't be that that expensive, for sure. Because, just, yeah, no, nah, because really, really, Snoop Dogg really only owned the name, but not the the back catalog. It's a it's a publishing company separate from them that owns the actual catalog of of music. Now that's what's worth the real money. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But as far as like the name, Snoop Snoop owns that now. So Okay. Okay. But just dope, man. I think it was a dope situation. It came full circle. Um I kinda don't even want to talk about this, but we got to. I thought you was going somewhere else when we was talking about the N word. Who else? Joe Rogan. Ah, I forgot about that. I forgot about that. Well, since you brought it up, how did you, how did you feel about that? Those those uh clips of him saying that all those times came up. Number one podcast in the world, hundred million dollar man. So, on some, I don't know, man. It's it's kind of like mixed feelings because the some of the words how he was using it. It's inside sometimes because mm-hmm. I was looking at because I went deep into just a little highlight clip. Mm-hmm. At sometimes he was using it. He was trying to tell the difference or talk about the difference between it or whatever. Um, but then there was one clip when he was trying to say like. Like, why is it so bad to say? Like, go ahead and say it. Like, go ahead. Like, he was, like, pushing the dude to say it. and But but really push it over the edge when he said he wasn't racist and he made came out this video and all that stuff. He said when he got dropped off, he, like, went to go see a movie or something like that. He said he felt like he was in the Planet of the Apes. Mm. So it's like, how can you say you're not a racist, but then you make a remark like that? Well, because maybe he not. No, I don't no, know. No, 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 no. But I feel like. Come on, bro. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, you can't say Come that, on, bro. bro. With them remarks, he was a racist. He Come on, bro. You said you was dropped off and you felt like you was in the planet of the apes, bro. Because mm-hmm. you was in an all black neighborhood. Yeah, it ain't yeah, it ain't no uh And everybody had his back. And you know what's crazy? Spotify covered it up. Yeah. But niggas still use Spotify. You know what I'm saying? Like Spotify never get any more money from me ever. That's their number one person. They not get rid of him. Uh, I, I know that. So, I know you're going to back your boy. But we all know, you know what I'm saying, <clears throat> that's wrong. All the way wrong. Because if that, let that be yes. uh, uh, Joe Button over there, you know what I'm saying, saying something about a cracker and all that type of stuff in a hundred episodes. Y'all have counseled him. Y'all have got him up out of there. We have cut all ties with it. Y'all know how y'all do. Well, maybe not. The word cracker, but if you'd have said the J word, which I'm not gonna say mm-hmm. on this part, y'all the J know word. I don't know what that is. Three letter J word. Anybody from shit? Anybody oh, from okay. the LGBTQ community? Right. If you say something wrong about that, everybody's canceling you. Yeah. So what I don't appreciate or I don't like is the fact that these people can say these words and it's just like, oh, I'm sorry. I'll do some research. Let me go and you know uh, do this. It's, it's like all this, all this bullshit. 
And it's like, you can do that, but the moment somebody else says something, when they clearly don't have no understanding, the other people, more, more than likely or not, are using it for like a racial slur. When a lot of times, some other people that's using other words don't even know. Like LeBron James, when he said, he was quoting 21 Savage about uh, getting getting money like like a Jewish. All he was saying was, like he like he knows those people have wealth. Watch and that word. Watch that word. Slow down. You're right. My bad. But I mean, <laughs> no, but I he, he's giving them like props and he's giving them praise and he's acknowledging like that community has money. Right. And so when he's making a reference like that, he had to apologize. And but Joe Rogan said the N word a hundred thousand times. And it's just like, oh, 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 I'm just so sorry. He just offered an apology. You got you also got black people backing them up. I'm just, I'm like, come on, bro. Look at the <laughs> Come on, man. Look at the <laughs> Look at the <laughs> No. <laughs> Relax. Relax. I just don't get it. Maybe I need, I don't know. Maybe I, maybe I lack understanding. I get it. I, I'm just, I'm just confused. When you're just, that powerful, man. When you, when you, when you got that top spot, people bro. gonna make uh, excuses for excuses you. for you. God damn me, you can get away with a lot of shit when you the number one. Spotify signed that man for a hundred million dollars. You think they about to cancel that? Do you think that you know, I, if they sign him for a hundred mil, what he bringing in? You already know what type of listeners he bringing in. Like you got the number one podcast. Period. Period. You get what I'm saying? So they not bro. He he could have said whatever. He could have said whatever except that J word. You know what else he, he said, said too? That word. They would have got him out the way. That's just real. You know Nobody get a too? pass for that. He said it was some guy talking about he was mixed, and he was saying you got like the physique of a black person, mm. but you have the brain of a white man. He said you have the best of both worlds. Right. What? Basically saying black folks is what? Not, not as smart as yeah. yeah yeah. It's like come on bro. But people come on don't bro. Still but you listen not, to him. Come people on bro. I never listened to him to begin with. I I, I never hey, really got the hype. I, the only yeah. time I listened to him was when like some people that I know went on there. I remember like Freeway Ricky went on there one time and I, I checked that interview out. But like if I if it's not people I don't know, I don't I'm not just either. tuning into that. <laughs> just because somebody have a black person on their show doesn't mean they're not racist. That's a fact. I got like, black friends. Yeah, like what? <laughs> what? That don't mean shit. I don't know, man. It's just like like I've always said before, we just gotta go back, find a way, some kind of way, go back to building our own stuff all the way around. And that's with sports, that's with everything. The people that's in position that got real money, we need to make some type of structure for just for us, because these people out here do not like us. You go overseas, they do not like us. Period. Some stuff, no, don't get me wrong, it is warranted because we need to check ourselves. Well, not us, but you know, but we need, right. there's a lot of, there's a lot of our kind that need to be checked. They out there records, they out there stealing from stores every damn day. You see that on the internet every day, bro. They going in Louis Vuitton, Gucci, all these stores stealing shit. Our people. Y'all making us look bad, bro, for the people that's trying to live a, 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 a the right life. Y'all make, making us look bad. And they don't care. They don't care. And so now they just trickle down effect to how the whole world sees us. You posting this shit on the internet, and now you got people all over looking at you crazy. We trying to go somewhere. It don't matter if you dress nice or not. What Jay-Z say, you still a nigga at the end of the day. Right. And y'all not trying to do nothing to help our image in no kind of way. That's why that uh, Jim Jones clip when he was in Gucci made me so uncomfortable. I was Damn. just like, damn, that's, it's, that's just unnecessary. It's just unnecessary. Did y- y'all got to see that? Yeah. Uh, what happened? Well, he had like winning, winning Gucci or whatever I, with a few of his guys, of course. And he was basically just making a scene because the the worker, quote unquote, didn't walk up to help him or some, something like yeah. that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, a, like, like 30 minutes or something, an hour. Yeah, yeah. He ain't, they ain't, nobody said nothing. Y'all racist, y'all this, y'all that. It's just like, fam. Why don't you just leave the store? Right. They got plenty of stores that's in that bitch that's black owned. That'll be happy to how you been. As soon as you walk in there, they gonna know exactly who you is. You know what I'm saying? They gonna give you the utmost. They they might they most likely they gonna give you something for free to get you back in the store. You know what I'm saying? Like especially when Gucci got a history of doing borderline racist things. I remember that that promo they had that they had to pull down. Fam. Cause it was something like 
they they had like a, a monkey ape or monkey yeah, or something on, a, on backpacks and on the, yeah on backpacks different things like that and people was like really like that's just racially insane like it's nobody that's of color that's in that boardroom that should say hey nah this is this is not cool but they put it out there and had to backtrack then we fake canceled them like we always do cancel them for twenty four hours and then y'all right back at the store the next day then what then making scenes like Jim Jones is doing oh y'all racist y'all that well they got a history of that <laughs> why you keep Going in there, spending tens of thousands of dollars. They know. I, I feel like they know what they're doing. I do, because you know you get attention. All you need is some attention, man. But th- those companies don't even need attention, bro. You, when the last time you seen a Gucci commercial, Louis commercial, Rolls Royce commercial? They, they don't need it. They've been in existence for a hundred years of, but, of luxury top tier items. They, they don't just need a, it. It's just a, the social currency, though, off of it. Because, like, the publicity, if they say, oh, yeah, black people canceling Gucci or whatever, then all the white people that hate black people, what they going to do? Buy more Gucci. Bro, we, we they, that ain't even necessary. We spend enough of our money with them anyway. I they know. don't even need it. I know. We Black people is the number one consumer in the country. But they still so got no bread. <clears throat> yeah, I don't, I don't know, man. I don't know. I just don't like the way the whole thing set up. We're gonna be honest, but let's move on to a little lighter note. Uh, been a been a few sex tapes dropped recently, leak recently. <laughs> I, I don't even really want to talk about this, but it's on the docket, man. I got Nelly uh, sex tape leaked. Little Fizz sex sex tape leaked. Who else? Uh, Isaiah Rashad. <laughs> I didn't see oh, none relax. of them. I didn't see none of them. I just seen a few. I'm not looking at no dudes do sex that. tapes. Okay, so the 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 interesting situation is, which I don't even want to ask y'all like what y'all thought about the sex tapes. I would I, would, I would never do that. I never saw it. So, but my but my question is this: a lot of this stuff feel like it's forced, like they doing it on purpose to get headlines, bro. That's what I'm thinking. All you gotta do is just see what they got coming. That'll tell you. When shit like that start happening, bro, you know what I'm saying? Like, that ain't no fluke. They got something coming. So they just want their name to hit the press real quick, get on all the stuff, and then bam. A couple weeks later, when that's about to die down, hit you with what they got coming. An album, clothing line, a brand, label, movie, something. They got something coming. They think they slick, man. I just don't understand how you could be on that type of level, celebrity-wise, and still... Try to force it to get attention. Like that's just I, I don't I don't understand it. Cause man, they not they not the young boys in the game. They not the new boys. Let me say the new boys, not young boys, but the new boys in the game. You know what I'm saying? So people ain't checking for them like that. So they got to find a way to be on top. That's sad. Um, if that's the case, y'all boys should be a goddamn shame of y'all. But we gonna move on to this <laughs> to this last one. Isaiah Rashad sex tape leaked, but his contained a bit of different content. From what I'm hearing, apparently it was two men in his. What? Yeah, him and two men. Uh, Isaiah Rashad of uh, TDE. Mm-mm. So that hit the timeline. Timeline went crazy, of course. Start bashing the man, doing all kind of stuff because they, you know, now he outside the closet now. Clearly. So here's here's a question: If that came out about your favorite rapper, if that was your favorite rapper, that tape leaked about. Would that change the way you you viewed him? I mean, I, well, how much you listen to his music? Immediately. <laughs> <laughs> that's just real. That's just hey, and that ain't no knock to nobody. Why are you looking that way, Kitty? <laughs> that ain't changing your view at all. Uh, at all. Because he's gay. Hey. Or bisexual? I gotta. I'm, I don't nah, it ain't that. It's just y'all know. Like, like he said, my favorite rapper. He ain't say a uh, artist. He said my favorite rapper. Favorite rapper. So my favorite rappers. I'm listening to Ross Cole. Like these are my favorite. Dog, I gotta stop listening to that immediately. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying like, like two chains. Why is that? Shit like that. Why is that though? Because my, you know, what I'm saying they, they tricked me. You so had me if they would, so if they would have came out. Just like as they were, you'd have been cool with it. Yeah, you'd have to give me a choice. Yeah, you came out like if you, hey, if you came out, you know what I'm saying, off the rip, like, like, uh, what's his name, Frank Ocean. Mm-hmm. You get know what I'm saying? You came out and off the rip and you said what you was and all mm-hmm. that type of shit. You gave me a choice, bro. Okay. And Frank Ocean go hard. I listen to a lot of his tracks. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But for you not to give me a choice, you tricked me for all these years because your favorite rapper just don't become your favorite rapper right then and there. Mm-hmm. It'd be some years. 
You know what I'm saying All these years I'm thinking you talking about women And you faking all these pictures With women and all this type of stuff here And then bam A sex tape hit the, hit the, hit the feed And you got three niggas in it <laughs> You assumed he was talking about women <laughs> Man, he had pictures with women. He he got engaged to a woman, all this type of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Your favorite rapper got a kid, and then you see a sex tape in the line, and there ain't no women in it. It's all Johnson swinging. Come on, man. Get out of here, bro. Get out of here. Well, he was, how long you watching that sex tape video for, man? <laughs> <laughs> that nigga say he watching it so long, he in disbelief. He ain't. <laughs> he was living his life in secrecy because of people like you who wasn't go support him. Hey, 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 hey. question though. Him. Question. And this Yo. is just this again, this play a devil's advocate. Yo. Because if it's if it's my favorite rapper, uh uh-huh. I would be I would look at him differently because if you look at my favorite rappers, I, I pride myself on the authenticity and what they saying. Mm-hmm. Benny. Drake, Cole, uh, ESTG, Pooh Shiesty, yep. Dirk, Vaughn. It's 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 a, it's a bunch of authenticity behind it, right? Mm-hmm. So if it comes out that they not who I think they are or who they portrayed themselves to be, mm-hmm. I can't look at them the same. You tricked me. I can't. Hoodwinked, bamboozled. Right. Mm-hmm. But I will say this because there's a, there's a piece of hypocrisy okay. in there. Okay. Rick Ross. When he first came out, mm-hmm. it was oh, I'm the I'm the biggest boss. I sell drugs. I do this. I do mm-hmm. that. Da, 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 da. Security guard. And then it comes out that you was the CEO. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So it's like people gave him the pass for that. But in this Isaiah Rashad situation, and he, he wasn't as big of an artist, so we ain't gonna act like they was on the same level. But I think the 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 general consensus is people was way more willing to back off of him because of. What his lie was compared to what Rick Ross's was. Okay, and that's the and that's the piece of hypocrisy in there. That's just like damn. Man. So Ross never moved no keys. Well, what you saying I this is plenty, another thing. I know this plenty of CEOs thing. that went to jail, boy. Right for what? illegal things, right. big illegal things. Okay, <laughs> right. okay. Wh- which is which is what I'm about to get into. Okay, but the only issue with that is when asked about it, Ross lied mm. and said, "No, nah, I wasn't no CEO at first. Okay, and then when people just kept. Digging up, then pictures came out, and his name on contracts and all that. Then he came out and said, "Yeah, I did what I had to do to feed my family, but that don't that don't mean that I wasn't doing what I said I was doing." Okay, which which could be true. Yeah, right, absolutely, absolutely. But the lie was there. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, and it's like if, ever since then. Don't get me wrong. I, I I still love Ross. I do, but I look at him different. It's like a little asterisk. It's an asterisk though. I look at okay. him differently. I go to Ross for that rich talk, yeah. Okay, and give me That's that fair. rich feel. Yeah, so it's just—I mean, it's just—it's just, a, it's just, it's just an interesting situation. But I, I, I would still listen to him. I would. Good music is good music. You make good music, I'm gonna listen to you. I don't care what you are. You can be a bird. If you're chirping right, I'm gonna listen to you. All I'm gonna say is, are y'all still playing R. Kelly? No, that person is not being played. No, <laughs> but be. You mean but, publicly? Or- but be. <laughs> hey. hey. Hey, it may or may not have came on my playlist, ah. and I was too far away from my phone. I couldn't, I couldn't turn it off. I was too far away. So. Hey, you, you rich, you could tell Alexa to turn it. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. Uh, we're gonna get into <laughs> Kanye and Kim. They've been beefing lately, man. Ever since this divorce situation and went public, it's been one issue after another. The most recent. Uh, his daughter, North. They have created a TikTok page for her, um, which Kim and you know the Kardashian family endorses. <laughs> Shocker there. Uh-huh. Um, Kanye took issue to this. He's like, my daughter's too young to be on TikTok. I don't want her having to deal with what comes with being on social media at that age. Kim is saying, hey, we are protecting her from those things. Which she's just making fun videos that she likes to make, da da da, and that's it. That's all. She's not going to have to deal with that. Kanye not going for that. So there's been a back and forth in regards to that. And then, of course, Kanye is weaponizing his blackness against them. And Kim is basically saying that you're crazy. You're overreacting to situations because I don't want you back. Da, 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 da. So it's just a it's just a big, big mess. But I bring the situation up to say, how would y'all handle that? Right. Like if y'all had a daughter that was that young, y'all, you and the baby mom split, whatever the case may be. 
she wanted her on social media making videos that young. Y'all took issue with it. Oh, oh here's a question. What, what, would y'all even have issue with it? I'm reporting her account as spam. <laughs> Your own daughter. Yes. How, how you should not be you four, like four or she's five. Four, she's four? You should not be on social media. No. I'm sorry. TikTok. I'm sorry. No. TikTok children, TikTok. No. Unless there's a kids only app. But even still, that's still weird because some way a perv or something going to find their way that's on true. that app. And that's what I'll be thinking so about. So, no, I'm not. And people are mean on social media. They got people that hate Kim Kardashian. So, they're going to be in the comments telling North that she look ugly or her mama did do this, do that. Can no, you turn, no, can bro. Can you turn comments off on TikTok yet? Because um, I know sure. on Instagram you can. I don't know. I don't know don't about know. TikTok. If I could turn the comments off and everything is supervised, yeah, I would let, her. I would let my child do it. Only, it, it, only if, if that's the case. If that's the, if it's if that's the case, yes, I would be I would be open. But at the same time, I still wouldn't want to though. I, I feel you. you I still want wouldn't to. want to. Yeah, no. But if if we gonna do it, because you know what I'm saying, it's two parents about. Why do you need to be on? You you two too young. Involved. You too young to be on you social wanna, media. This, you want to have your fun with your friends because you know they got a kids TikTok. But I would make it to where hey, you only gonna film in this room, whatever room I pick, right? It's gonna be dancing videos or whatever the hell you know what I'm saying no, kids are doing, and no comments are to go on these videos. When did you get on social media? We was older though, but I social don't... media wasn't even out. You know what I'm saying? We when did you get a phone? Years. When did you get a phone? As soon as I can get one Maybe myself. 2005. Six. How old were you when you got phones a phone? Weren't even, phones weren't even I big was, back then. Yes, it was. Six, yes, it was. Nigga. Yes, it was. I was 16. Nigga. Yes, it was. It was like 2000. Oh, I had bad. The it was like 2005 when you could just play Snake on your phone. All you doing was but you, you, and still, you still wasn't able to send text because you, you didn't have unlimited mobile, text messages. You still had mobile right. phones. Only thing yeah, for was safety unlimited purposes. was the Nokia Turk. We living in a different chur, chur. we live in a different environment. I'm not uh, giving no five year old no phone. Back, back in the day, you could you I could play outside till two o'clock in the morning. Back in the day, I can't you can't do that now. Yeah, you can. You can. People just choose to get their kids tablets Bruh. all day and you Bruh. take them outside, they're going to be outside. Bro, you was not letting your kids sit out, it's outside at 2 o'clock in the morning nowadays. No, I mean, I'm a, my, not, my bad, not 2 o'clock in the morning, but I'm just saying like... But that's what a, I just said. Don't say not 2 I just said I played outside till 2 o'clock in the morning back in the listen, day. I wasn't listening. To Obviously, you're not morning. listening. Two, that's your problem. Why like were you... A, first, who outside at 2 o'clock in the morning? Yeah, I used to be outside all the time at 2 o'clock in the morning back when I was younger. Doing what? Playing capture the flag, hide and go seek. I went out something little damn two o'clock. I was sleep. Two o'clock say in the I was morning. playing hide and go get it. Unless I, yeah, unless I was older, then I'm doing something else. But I'm not I'm just capture the flag at two in the morning. You're, you're playing a different. You're in a different. Capture the flag. St- day and age. Now, <laughs> Kenny grew up rich, man. Grew, you play in a different rich. environment, dog. You play against other neighborhoods, and y'all never find the flag because y'all find, <laughs> going to sleep. But still, like, yeah. you, we're going to, in a different society where technology is a big thing now. You remember when we first got computers? We was all big onto computers and. Sitting at the house, oh, let me play on this. Or like when Nintendos came out. But I think what do we want to do? A lot of that stuff is still Nintendos. optional. Like well, hey, you we, can buy those things for your kids, but there were still a lot of people. I get what you're saying, but there's still a lot of people who couldn't afford that or didn't have that. Period. But ta- or just their beliefs, they just didn't do it because they knew it's time consuming. Tablets are not optional nowadays. Tablets are given out. They are mandatory now in school. They are mandatory. They are mandatory in Memorial and in Port Arthur. So I know they're mandatory everywhere else. So when they get home, does that mean you have to be on it the rest of the time that you're They at home will get on it because they do dollars? homework on it and they, okay, I got a tablet on. Let me find it. I got a little game I can play on my tablet. It's a, a, a learning game, but it's still a game. And as a parent, you and can restrict that. You can, but it's, it still doesn't throw back the fact that you have obstacles out there that where you can learn other technology and want to learn more about it. Oh, I got this tablet. I could do this on it. Oh, what else can I do? I'm not having my kid on social media. You can play games, not on social media. You can't be on social media. No. If I had a daughter or a kid, no. Your ass not getting on social media at four, five, six, seven. No. I agree. No. I think it's. I, I think her, her environment is different than ours, too. She, she grows up in a household with a media family. That's very true. Big her her whole family, family is media. She gets money off her TikTok. I guarantee you that. Oh, for damn sure. That North does? For damn Hell sure. Hell yeah. Hell yeah! Anybody Kardashian ties ties is getting paid. So, I mean, post. financial that's reason. That's I mean, that's a big game. Shoot, if if you if somebody say, hey man, your daughter's big on. She did a YouTube. She's doing YouTube. She's big on YouTube at four or five years old, just like that little kid that uh, Ryan. Yeah, mm-hmm. does toys Sun and shit. Watching. He still gets negative comments and stuff. Yeah, but you still gonna let him do it? Why? Because he's bringing in that cash. Millions. Yeah, but see, but see again, right? The whole let her be on it. 
dictating and controlling. See, me, I'm just not not comfortable with that because I want kids to be kids for as long as possible. For the same reason that I'm not going to put hit my daughter to how bills and things work when you super early. You know what I'm saying? I got that that information very, very early, and it kind of jaded me, kind of tainted me. It kind of stripped my childhood away from me because I was worried about things that I shouldn't be worried about at that age. But when you four or five, six years old, of course you want to be cool, you want to be accepted, you want to be all of that. So social media is going to... Like that's that's a that's a place that can really ruin somebody's self esteem, if we just gonna be honest. Like grown folks on there that are yes. chasing it still to this day, yes. attention, whatever the case may be, approval, different things. Whether you got a lot of money or a little bit of money, it don't even matter. Social media is just that much of a drug, and I'm gonna try my hardest to keep my daughter away from it until she. I feel like she's old enough and mature enough to be able to distinguish the two and at least have a. a Decent amount of your life off of it, and that's that's one thing that I think saved our generation, is that we got we kind of got half and half. Mm-hmm. When we was kids, we was outside all the time. True. When, as we got older, social media took over, so we got best of both worlds. But the generations after us, this is all they gonna know. So it's just like like, it, and is that a good thing? I don't I don't necessarily think so, in my opinion, because you got people's self esteem is gonna be so tied to per, outside perception. And being, you know, approved. I mean, getting approval. Don't get me wrong. Like, we used to chase approval as kids, too, but not on that scale. Yeah. You chasing it at your neighborhood school, your little neighborhood that you in, your little five, six friends in that neighborhood. It's not thousands of people on, on an app. Every time you post a picture, yay yeah, or nan, or you trash, or you or you gorgeous, or you this, or you that. You know what I'm saying? So it's just, I don't know. I I, I understand what, what O's saying. I, if it's me with Ken's, I'm going to try to keep off it as long as I possibly can. That's that's just real, but of course, as kids, because we was we was once kids as well. You can try your best to patrol it, but they gonna find a way. Yeah, make a profile at somebody else's house or something. Use right. it off their phone. Right. Yeah, they definitely gonna try to find ways. I think you just set parameters, and if they break that parameter, then you take action towards that. I still think that's still a young age. Yes, I agree hundred percent. But I feel like that should be an age, like. Age ten, like middle school, according sixth to grade, your, then you can start. Maybe according to your lifestyle, you just I can't I, agree. I can't see that with Kanye but, West's daughter. Yeah, she she's just she's grown up in that. Her that's that's just her lifestyle. That's Some not, people are just raised in that environment. That's not even one percent though. It doesn't even, it doesn't even matter if she didn't have a phone or not. She still got paparazzi all around her. Everything her parents are in oh, the media all the time. Man. It's it's. Mm-hmm. People trying to take pictures of her. Yeah, that's going to drive me up you a know wall. What I'm saying? She's, and social media going to add to it. So why do it? Introduce no. it to it early. Hey, you even got this at an early age. <laughs> <laughs> no. This was hit come. Later on in age, you never know. Hey, well, they, they can still advise us. Hey, make your TikTok videos. But you're not going to be responding back to these people. Oh, okay, make this TikTok video. This is what you can see. Oh, these are your comments right here. You got enough money to exclude what comments you can see and can't see. You definitely can. Yeah, but that's I don't know, man. It's 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 just too it's just too slippery of a slope. But that ties back to again Kanye and Kim beefing, man. Relationships are hard. Clearly, marriages after the marriage, childhood, child support, different things like that. It's just very very messy. That's why it's so important for you to pick the right person <laughs> or end up like this. Um, you know what's crazy though? That uh, that uh, what that shit is uh. Prenup she made him sign is working to his advantage. How so? What, yeah, what what because when they got together, he he wasn't richer than her. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So her, her prenup is set to well, if if we leave and we break up, you leave with what you had, I leave with what I had. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, but he came up six billion. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yo 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 prenup works both ways, baby. He taught her fashion and everything. He, you get what I'm saying? So now he's he's three times or four times richer than you. Your your uh uh whatever that shit is is working against you now. Oh, prenup, prenup is work yeah. is working against you now because now you're not entitled to his company because the way you set your prenup up. Oh. True, but I think he's still. He, he gave us some of the yeah, but He still gave a part He gave of a percentage yeah. out of, He didn't have to do that That's though. true Very true But at the same time Context is important here Remember when he went bankrupt She fronted him like I think it was 200 million or something If I'm yeah. not mistaken Yeah So I did. mean he kind of old a little bit He kind of old some of that He do 
Yeah, I mean, he do, but that's why. G. But that's why he gave her like I think it was like fourteen percent of Yeezy. Yeah. Okay. You get what okay. I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like he didn't pay his debt back. Oh yeah, for sure. And more. And more. Because she gonna continually earn from. Yeah, she that. gonna continually earn from that for the rest of her life. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? But that prenup worked against you. It's tough, man. The dating game is tough. <laughs> uh, speaking of, recently it was a woman on TikTok or Instagram that was crying. Thirty year old woman that was speaking on how hard it was to date in LA. I'm just gonna play the clip. Want to get y'all response? Had like the. Craziest, saddest thought. Um, I'm in the stage of life where I'm watching all my friends get married and have babies and find love. And I had another talking phase yet again fall through. And my friend was like, you know, you'll meet the one one day, don't give up. But now I'm at a point where I hope I don't because what happens if I meet him and he wants kids and I'm too old to not be able to give him any? Like a weird existential crisis. Good. Let me find her. What? Kenny trying to destroy your mom. Saying, <laughs> I'm just going to give her brutal honesty. If I'm, <laughs> what you going to give her? What, what, the real. What, what you gonna tell her? Why are you crying over love? You don't mm-hmm. get love from your friends. You don't get love from your mom, your dad. No, because they got they got love. somebody that, that they're the loving. Same. That ain't the she, same. She wants her own love. Kenny, that All ain't love the same, is the same to me, dog. It ain't that the same. Ain't the same, bro. All love is the same. No, to me, bro. no it ain't you the same. You ever inspire to be married again, bro? You cannot look at it like that. It ain't the same to me. That's for me. That's a totally different love. I swear to God, you can't look at it like that. All love is the same to me, dog. Nah, that's somebody that'll they'll eat your dirty drawers. Facts. Your parents ain't gonna do that. Your bet your friends ain't gonna do that. My parents ain't gonna my parents ain't gonna get their life for me. That's all he said. said, said eat your dirty dirty why is why are we doing eating dirty drugs? I'm just saying, Kitty. Like they're obsessed with you. They're in love with you. They're you know, just would do anything and everything for you. Yeah, you your parents can do everything. That. But you know what I'm saying. I know I don't, because my parents will do everything you just said. So your yeah, okay, so look, look, look. So, your, so would your mom and your daddy give up their riches right now? Yes. And give it to you. Yes. I guarantee they would right now. If I if it's a good decision, not just because oh I no, just no 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 love love it ain't no good decision involved so t- in all this. So you tell me your wife is gonna give you some money if you say hey baby I just want to go gamble. Okay, take all the money in the savings, go use it. Exactly. So Bruh, give me a, that was a bad example. So that give me a, a good bad example. example. Bad example. Bad example. Bad example. Bad example. Bad give example. me a good example. Bad of what, what? Give love, us an example. Give us an example. Because <laughs> marriage marriage doesn't tell the difference between how much I love you or not. It ain't no dog. If I love somebody, okay, it's somebody who doesn't know you. Who will be unselfish and will do anything and everything. It's the difference between family and somebody you're related to than somebody who doesn't know you and who has to get to know you, and who wants to get to know you and will do anything. It's a little bit different because exactly. you don't even know that person and they're willing to give you anything and everything. Kenny, I don't care so, how much. Time out, time out, time out. Uh-huh. This person doesn't know you, but they're willing to give you any and everything. Because you just met them. Like, this is a person who you, the you're fuck, growing. Who the fuck is loving somebody right then and there? Nah, nah, it's it's it. not. Oh, come on. Oh, I know. Oh, no. It's not, that's the problem. It's not right then and there. It's that person. You meet them, and they're willing to do. They're willing to get to know you. They're willing to okay. grow. They're okay. willing to do all those things. Now, I'm talking, okay. like, down the line. It's not yeah, immediately. They're growing Kenny. with you. It's yeah. not immediately. This is Kenny. You're growing with you. Two, three years, whatever. Yeah, this, go ahead. Initially, you never knew them, right? Yeah. But your parents, you, you're 30, so you, you've you been knowing them all your life, right? Yeah, Friends, you've been them, knowing yeah. them 10 plus years, yeah, 15 I grew, plus years. I grew, I grew to Family, love them. Family, all those years. Love for all them. Yeah. So they're doing, they can do those same things in the least amount of time. That, that's, that's the difference. They're willing to do all those things in the least amount of time. You're not making no fucking sense to me. Okay. Right Cause, cause, his, his, Kenny, go ahead, go ahead, go. Can you have a family with your mom and dad? Yes, they are my family. No, 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 Can you no, no, have? No, no, can you start? Can, you, can no, I have a kid? Start can, a family. can I have a kid? Can with them? you start a family? Can I have a kid with them? With your mom, a biological and dad. kid, biological kid. Yes. No, it's biologically. I well, I could if I had my mom, but you know, I like, we ain't gonna go that way. You <laughs> saying biologically? Stop no, it. Biologically, Stop no. It. Obviously, biologically, no. But I could adopt a kid. I have no, my no, nephews no, no, that's no, at no, my no, house no, no, no. That, That's my family well, Real, uh, re- you, Ideally Realistically Most people are not adopting Kenny, Most people are having okay. Their own kids okay. Own legacy okay. Own woman cool. Somebody that they can love Somebody that cool. loves them Until they get divorced Come on bro Until they get divorced Come on bro 
And we then talking so about saying, and all that love. So we're not every, talking about divorce. You said everybody. What? I'm just saying. Y'all said no, we're not talking about divorce. You said everybody marries to be divorced. That's what you're saying. No, everybody marries to be married, but divorce is always a possibility. But if you marry and be married for love, not, and you're not, not thinking about no divorce, in. why does divorce come on? Yeah, the table? divorce is always on the table. Prenup is always on the table. You, know you, can't, you can't, you can't throw up. If I'm driving a car, I'm not driving a car to get in a wreck. That's because but it's always a possibility someone put a seatbelt on. That's because well, people are unruly, right? You can do that with any topic. <laughs> so Kenny, you are people unruly. Are unruly right? I can't trust. I can't so trust Kenny, everybody. You can do that people literally with any topic if that's what you want. If that's the route you want to go, you can do that. We can do that with literally any topic. I'm just waiting for y'all give you a good example. Don't do that. I just gave you a good example. You cannot have a family with your mom and dad, bro. A kid doesn't make a fucking family. What? Like, just because you have a kid doesn't make that person your family. No, 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 that, no, no, no. That, You ain't gotta have a family. You ain't gotta have a kid. Your wife, well, why you can, your kid? wife can be your family. Well, why you, my my you mom and leave, dad is my you family. You can't leave your legacy with your mom and dad. Ideally, our parents die before us. Ideally, okay. Okay. Who, who you gonna okay. leave your legacy okay. with? With you us? You gonna leave your fa- legacy with your your, uh, you gonna your leave wife? With us? You gonna I will leave. leave I will leave my legacy with, with my your wife. wife. And when she dies before you, then what? I will leave it with my child. No, you don't I have a kid. Get, you don't have a kid. No, no, you don't no, no, have a kid. Okay, look, look, look. okay, if I don't, if I don't have a kid. Okay, what? If I don't have a kid. Yes. And I was married. My If my okay. wife died of uh, unfortunate things, yes. right? Yes. Say I'm close to death or whatever. I would give it to somebody that I think is ruly enough to have it. I can't do that same thing without being married? Come on, bro. Come Stop, Arden. Stop. Stop. How? I can't do that. Stop. I can't give it to my nephews. Stop, I can't give it to y'all. Stop, bro. Stop, bro. You're not making sense, dog. I am making sense. Not love does not. Sense, bro. Marriage doesn't. You make always you, think you're right. Marriage doesn't make love. Kenny always dog. right. Marriage doesn't make sense. love, bro. Marriage does not, not make love. Sense, bro. You're not marriage making sense. Is, if you go throughout this whole life thinking marriage you makes are, love, you, then you are you are lost. You, you are you. I I, I want to see you with any woman. I've been with women. No, I want to see you dealing with a woman, and I want to hear the same quotes out your mouth. Love? Nah, love. You know love is, I would say I want you name. to sit in your woman's face and say, oh, love is, I, I love my mama and you, my dad, all that. That's all the same to me. All that type of love is the same to me. Yes. And watch how stupid she look at your fool. And then she's not the woman for me. It's well, different. You'll never have a woman for you. <laughs> what? You might as well what? get you a law. What's the point? You might it's as well go get tears. a vasectomy. It What's is the point, tears. dog? You might as well go What's get a vasectomy, hey. get you a law, That's fact. Hey. and hang it up. Not everybody needs to have kids to have to find love. Okay. It is Not love. everybody needs a woman to find love. It is love, but it's different tears, I feel too. Hold tight, hold tight, hold tight, man. This is, this. y'all arguing a mute point. And the reason it's mute is because Kenny does not view relationships that highly. It do, doesn't matter. Like, y'all view relationships highly, whether it's from programming, whether it's from upbringing, Whatever the case may be, your union, a nuclear family is important to y'all. Period. It's not to him. That's that's just what it is. He he's said that repeatedly, and y'all keep trying to change. No, it. No, 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 no. That's a lie. No, that's a lie. We talking about that. You know aspect. why? We talking because about that he aspect. said on this podcast and said, "Well, I hope to be inspired. I, I hope to be married one day." But if you aspire wait, to be married, wait, wait, wait. your love will be different for this person. Wait, 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 wait. But he, he he also said in that same breath that if I don't get married, if I don't have kids, I'm perfectly okay. That's with cool. That and that's true. But, but the but moment, for, but for the most moment men, that changes, that's not the case. For for most men, that, that's not the case. Most men are gonna sit here and say, "I bro, don't want to have a kid." I mean, or, or I'd be cool with not having no kids I hear or you. never being married or never I having no hear serious you. relationship. But he the moment that, you take on another party, you are going to conform to a bunch of things. All that shit that you talking about. Oh, now nah, this is this, this is that. That is not true. Compromise doesn't make you love. have to compromise. That's <laughs> love when you compromise something to give up something to I have. Co- something. I compromise at work. That's love. I compromise. You love at work. your job. No, I don't fuck it. What quit it out? What quit it out? You love your job. I, 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 you I love your job. Quit it out. Quit it out. So why do you still work? <laughs> and I don't. I don't compromise nothing. You don't. You, you don't just comp- said you. No, no, no. So you said so when you want to compromise. So when you want to leave work, you just leave. No, I don't know. Exactly. I, you talk about your time. fucking time. I leave when on you time. When you want to take a vacation. No, that's a saying, agreement. I'm going to leave. When you sign for, for a job, you get hired. Don't they make you sign papers? That's a contract, right? I agreed to the time. They said 7 o'clock to 3.30. I'm leaving at 3.30. I'm there at 7 o'clock. I'm not giving you no more if time. Say I'm not, early, I'm not subtracting no more time. If them niggas say they coming early, I bet you be in. No, early. I do not. You've they done will it t- they will tell you. you. Said it. They say, hey, hey, okay, Matt, Matt. They tell me all the time. Hey, Matt, you want to work okay. some overtime? Boy, you know not to ask me that. Okay. I would never work overtime. Okay. Okay. Interesting conversation. But Come let's, on, let's, man. let's 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 get <laughs> that back. That is to a lie. The, let's get back to the topic because at the end of the day, she's she's exhibiting the same fear that a lot of people have. A lot of people fear dying alone. A lot of people fear not having a family. 
not having kids, despite this whole boss B mentality, or even dudes, oh, I'm getting to the bag, I ain't worried about that right now. A lot of dudes, like, get to a point in their life to where it's like, wait a minute, <laughs> I'm looking around, I got all the money I want, whatever the case may be, everybody around me is getting married, I, I actually yearn for that. But now, it's like, I'm, I'm, I'm in a situation where it might be too late, or in her situation, I mean, especially women, because like, man, we got our kids till we 60. Mm-hmm. But with women, it's a bit different. So when women get to that 35, 36, most of their homegirls is married, got families, then that's when that fear set in. So that whole time she'd have been chasing that bag, getting the, you know what I'm saying, whatever. But mm-hmm. she just basically said it out loud. But a lot of women that's in her situation are thinking that. Attractive, all that. Get any dude or have sex with any dude because get any dude is, is a different conversation. <laughs> um, but can have sex with any dude, super attractive, whatever. But ain't but ain't had no relationship of substance, and panicking right now, because it's like damn, I'm I'm not gonna be able to have kids in maybe ten years. So now I got to meet somebody and damn near put a put a rush on it to try to back that man into a corner to have some kids. And again, you know, man ain't coming in there rushing that. So that's where the fear comes from. So that's what immediately went through my head when I first seen the clip. Um, I thought it was. I thought it was interesting. A lot of people was like ridiculing her. And I'm like, well, <laughs> she's not alone in that in that thought process. If we just gonna keep it G. But men, I think, again, men have a totally different mindset. Just like y'all sat here and argued for 20 minutes. Just like I said, a nuclear family is not important to Kenny. So it don't matter how many ways you can wrap it around, whatever the case may be, he's never gonna look at it with the same importance that y'all do. And that's just what it is. He said basically that if it happens, cool. If it doesn't, <laughs> Cool, I'm gonna be good regardless. Then he because my because my idea of legacy has nothing to do with a child or has nothing to do with a marriage. My idea of legacy is just passing something down to my loved ones. Well, that's my niece, my nephew, my sister, my pops, my that mom. That is the de- exact whatever. definition of legacy, but let's keep right. going. So, I mean, so again, his his mind is made. That's why I say y'all arguing a mute point. But what me and Kenny was arguing was something else. I what, forgot because we, we got deep into it. And then him and, <laughs> and then him and Smooth was arguing about something that me and Kenny would argue about. We was not it was, arguing that point. It, it, was, was, it was a different so point. I forgot what the point was. We was arguing love on different levels. Your wife level, your family level, and parents, your kids and, level. But wait, wait, love that is, is different tiers of love. love. I don't care less how you slice it. Love is subjective, though. Smooth. Come on, man. It's it's subjective. Come there on, is man. no set the, definition okay, for what right. love is. But so love, moment, it may be tears for you. It may be something else for somebody exactly. else. Exactly. But the moment you compromise anything, 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 your love on, on the scale is changing. The moment you compromise any, the littlest thing. You love this person in a different way, so you gonna move something. But you gonna compromise for everybody you love, though, bro. Oh, come on, man. You are. Come on. You, you come gonna, on. You gonna, I compromise time with y'all to do this podcast because right. I love that's y'all. Okay, that's a different. I don't, I don't do that, this. I ain't making no money on life this. Of love. I would die for y'all if I had to. I love y'all that much. Okay. Just as much as I love my mom and my but dad. That's still I a do the same type thing. Of love, bro. That's a different type of love. That's a different type of love for you. Come school. on, bro. That's, that's what I mean by love is subjective. Gang. Like you can't define I you you love the same way I do. You you can't do that, bro. You can't. Bro, I'm not hearing that. I'm deaf to that. I, I get it. But it's just, it is what it is. Because the, the way you put the way you put love, Matt, is you put love as if even if you and your wife get divorced. You would still die for her, no matter what she did after that. Nah, it just depends. Depends on what she did. No, that's how the way you put your love. She is first. Yeah, no, over, because over no, everybody because, no, because of because of the word marriage. No, because no. of wife. If me and my that's wife why. got divorced, you are no longer in that tier of that. You are no. I love you, but you are not in that tier. Yeah. But see, uh, again, let, let's say let's take the divorce off, off the table. Let's say that y'all stay married. Mm-hmm. You view your wife as more important than anybody else in your life in You're existence. Right. That, that's what I'm saying. A lot of people don't think that way. Are they wrong for not thinking that way? And no. That's why, that's why their marriages don't last. But not, that's not true. It's certain <laughs> people that have been married. What does that have to do with marriage? What does that have to do with marriage? Please I'm tell married. me. What, we just said please, wife. Please, we use the word wife. Marriage. We didn't use girlfriend. Uh, please, please, please. We use the word wife. Please tell me what that we has to do with marriage. We didn't use girlfriend. We please. didn't use so, a girl. So I, was, I, was I wasn't married to. before. I wasn't married before. Hey, hey, you loved her. You loved her. I did. I didn't say I didn't love her. I loved her. You loved her to death, right? Yes, I loved her. So who initiated everything? What you mean initiate everything? Who, who wanted to leave everything? Leave everything? Come on, man. 
Come you on. say who wanted to leave the marriage? Who wanted to leave? We everything. both left the marriage. Okay, but what started it, bro? When that stops trying me, to argue. Me, me, I started. Okay, so you didn't love her then. You didn't, oh, lo- okay. you didn't love her in that chair okay. no more because okay. you wanted to get a divorce. You okay. didn't love her in that chair no more. Okay, so if a nigga cheat, if, if, if a nigga cheat, he don't love his wife. No, nothing, bro. Nothing, nothing. You trying to argue something we ain't. That's even exactly what you just told no, me. No, fool. No. I'm saying y'all are breaking up. Y'all can stay together through anything. Motherfuckers stay together for kids. Through kids, motherfuckers have outside kids and all. That's not motherfuckers love. Motherfuckers stay together. That's not love. You get love. what I'm saying? Once they push past that, that is love. You know what I'm saying? All that's love. Can I set my mic on fire? Come on, bro. Because that is definitely you not are, love, you, dog. You, you, yeah, come on, bro. You are that's that's totally not love, dog. We're going to move <laughs> on, love, bro. We're move on. No fucking way. Again, y'all talking past each other. Welcome back, sense. Kitty. Y'all just going that's, in circles. That's, that's, she up now. You woke? That shit's on <laughs> trash. <laughs> I ain't never heard no shit like that, that before in my life, dog. That shit's on trash. All All right. love is, man, get out of here with that shit, dog. Next question, man. Uh, uh, not top, next question, next topic. There was a paternity test situation. Uh, that recently Damn. in the timeline Damn. went crazy. Um, essentially, I'm just gonna give a little backstory. Uh, dudes dating a woman allegedly has two kids by said woman. Mm-hmm. Uh, they go to court. I forget what what they was in court over, but it came out. You know what I'm saying? Uh, maybe no. Nah, I think it was just a paternity yeah, test. Paternity, went yeah. to regular paternity test. Um, I think he was really trying to find out if the last kid was his, right? But did the other one too? Just yeah, just cause. So. Uh, it came out that well, we just gonna play the clip and let y'all hear how it came out. You. <laughs> Why you got the Jungle Book playing in the background, dog? This is Jumanji. Oh, I'm very this sorry. Up the damn. Mr. Bro. Benning. The way she is. You. Look at her face. Are not the father. The way she did him, dog. Dog, this was live in the court. Wow. Yep, in the court. Look at her face. I'm very sorry. She ain't give a damn. (laughs) It doesn't matter. I'm still gonna be there. Oh. I'm not. I'm out. I'm out. I'm I'm out. I'm out. I'm I'm out. I'm I'm you can't change it. You spent two years together. Oh, no. You can't he talking about his baby that. mama or the you child? Can't take that he's, talking about, he's talking about he's still going to be in the child life. Oh. You said earlier that if Robin was not your biological child, it causes you to doubt whether or not you truly are the biological father of Jermaine Benning Jr. And because of that doubt... Did he a junior? The court wants to make sure when you leave here, you have the whole truth. I think I deserve at least that, Your Honor. And it comes to six it's two month of them. old mm-hmm. Jermaine six month old. Benning Jr. Nah, no, don't do this to me. It has been determined by this court. Oh no, Mr. Benning. Damn. You are not the father. What the? My nigga broke down. Six month old? Oh. It would have been violence in the court. Hey, you know what's crazy? Women get to cry. Oh, I'm so sorry, Mrs. Benning. You ain't sorry. She didn't cry. She didn't cry. Stone face. Cribs and playpens and toys. I've done everything that I do. Miss Bodine. Do you know who Jermaine Jr.'s father is? No, Your Honor. I didn't know that was going to come out like that. Well, you may not have known. Wait. But if it... So... Wait. <laughs> she said I didn't know it was going to come out like that. No. <laughs> no. It, it, it would have been violence, bro. I'm, I'm sorry, and I know that that's wrong. And I know they would have locked me up, but it would have been mm. violence, bro. I ain't never thought about putting you got my to be hands crazy. on a woman. Damn. I ain't, I ain't like know, them. I know it's gonna come out like that. Like them? <laughs> I gotta, I gotta put hands on you, bro. <laughs> Two I gotta kids. Put hands on you, bro. Uh, Two kids, fam. How much time he's been maneuvering around? How much money? How much money he spent? 
Play pick you up Tom <laughs> He is so expensive You ain't getting man. back time Got a Fuck the money Toys everywhere my, my crib dirty Forget the money nigga. You ain't getting back that time oh, You know how many times He was like Nah I can't go Phil I gotta take <sighs> You know what I'm saying? Fam. Bro, you know how much. Fam. I'm, I'm speechless. I don't even know what to say. She's standing there stone face. She said, I didn't know it was going to come, come out. out that like that. Hell nah, bro. Damn. I don't know. I don't know what to I, say. Hey, I'm not endorsing hitting any woman in life. But that woman deserved that ass, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to say, man. Nah, she been she, How old was the first one? The first one, like it was about four, three, four, something like that. Bro, something like you've that. been cheating. They didn't. They, they didn't say the night. They for didn't like say roughly old. five years. It's probably longer than that. And it, exactly, but the baby daddy is the same. And you talking about she oh, been getting no. cream pot and he <laughs> that thing. No, 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 no. Oh, no. get it. That nigga been eating a Twinkie without eating a Twinkie. Bro. If you get what I'm saying. Bro. Man, baby, a little oh. salty today. <laughs> Uh, it's a little deep <laughs> What oh it used to be God. like We what <laughs> Got a little room to take <laughs> <laughs> Oh you wet wet <laughs> You creamy <laughs> That's the title right there <laughs> Creamy creamy <laughs> Look here man <laughs> Like we say all the time. Oh she my God! Hurry up and come, <laughs> fam. Prayers to all. Po- uh, prayers I ain't to know, him. I ain't know it's gonna come all, out. All that of old way. buddy beating her down too good. She just come. That's what he I'm said. Tired. <laughs> I'm tired. I ain't know it's gonna come, come out that way. way. No, wow. that's a that's a bar right there. <laughs> come, come out, come out that. that way. Wow. I don't I don't know how he didn't grab her by the throat. I I, I don't know. Like wow. I, it would have been it would have it would been reflex. I wouldn't even been, I wouldn't have thought about it. I would better control that. Got that man crying on TV. Fan, you got to be out. And then, and then saying I'm still gonna be there. You got me. <laughs> I'm gone. That's that second hey, one. What, what smooth? Say what you say about the name, bro? Huh? You I need my name back. I'm smashing that immediately. Junior, he erased childless. that name out the he birth is, He is nameless. You hear me? <laughs> <laughs> John John Doe <laughs> John Doe <laughs> Junior Name here <laughs> Straight up Hell no nah. No Oh no, shit it, Ain't no way you say I Ain't no, ain't no way boy Prayers to all parties <laughs> Ain't no way Dog. Prayers to all parties involved um, baby, my babe, shit. She won't let me see my son. That's like, <laughs> he ain't got no son. Like, no, 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 no. That's crazy. <laughs> the thoughts that go through your head, bro. And he's sitting there bawling, crying in front of them. More than no fake tears. Them that he, he gave it, he gave his all. Probably sitting there like this is why I was getting beat down by your friend anyway. <laughs> so who's the kids? Well, that's his cousin. Ooh. It was some, it was some other light skinned person because they damn sure yeah they you know what I'm saying they look close to him it's somebody either either close to him and his family or somebody that looked like him around them like same build same color everything I knew I should have swallowed them why my daddy always want to cut the grass <laughs> <laughs> that's sad he always that's say he got a pipe to to fix wow. none of my pipes are leaking whose pipe is leaking. <laughs> I feel sorry for them. Damn, mama man. dripping. Drippity <laughs> <laughs> drip, 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 drip. No. Nah. Ain't no way, though. Mm, mm, mm. Wow. Prayer star parties involved. Before we get out of A Block, Super Bowl Sunday is Sunday. I need picks. I need picks. Burroughs, I'm going for the underdog, baby picks. Cincinnati. Oh, picks man. and a score. 30 to 24. Mm. I'm going. I'm going with Cincinnati. Six. Going with the underdogs. Uh, the Rams are good. I understand that, but I'm I got to go. 34 10. Damn. Bengals. Damn. 34 10 Bengals. And uh, Odell going to have the only score for the Rams. <laughs> That's why I'm going. Not Cooper Cup? 37 28 Rams. Mm. Okay. Cooper Cup, two touchdowns. Odell, three. I love to see What? It. I love to see it. I love to see my boy. So, so they'll get a two point conversion? I want to see my You said 37 28. Just cuz. <laughs> Safety, <laughs> no. <laughs> Um, I'm going 24-21 Rams, man. Odell, Super Bowl MVP, man. I got to ride with my dog. But yeah. I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be, no, nah, 24-21. Okay. And I wouldn't be disappointed 
if Joey Burrow won it. I'm gonna be honest with you. Cause that's hey, my dog I'm on, too. Hey, I'm, I'm going for I'm Joey rooting B. for Odell hey. because niggas wrote Odell off, man. Hey, and I am hey, I will be riding with Odell, man, because I understand what it what it means for culture and all that. What Facts. he does. But I'm riding for Burrow because he has a chance to do what no other quarterback will probably never do again. Mm-hmm. And that's win the triple crown mm-hmm. in four years. Yeah. Yeah, and then to do it in Cincinnati. You know what I'm saying? Like, no other quarterback will ever be in position to do that again, ever. I just don't think the Bengals' offensive line going to hold up against. Well, yeah, but but he got yeah, smart. Man. They got some hitters over there. Well, on the ball go. Let it go. Give it that boy. To, give it to well, Chase. I mean, what's Chase? Once he started running. Give it to Chase. But that running around ain't going to work with motherfucking be two of the best D linemen. Aaron, in Aaron the world. Donald. Von Miller. Come on, man. Shit, Quinn too. Like and then dog, you know they're gonna put Ramsey on on uh Chase, so that's what I need to see. He better guard him. I, I mean, wanna see. I mean like, he might get some catches off, but it's gonna be some tough catches, bro. And Ramsey ain't no I wanna I see. I got it. Chase for a buck seventy on him. Woo! I ain't seen a buck seventy. I got him for a buck seventy. I say on 80, Ramsey? 80 to Ramsey. about 110. 80 to I about 110. You mean cup for 270 on Eli Apple? Uh-huh. <laughs> Got, hey, that, that's a possibility. We gonna I, be got, I got Chase for. Hey, but y'all on. sleeping on Cincinnati defense too. Cincinnati defense is no, straight. No, Cincinnati defense. Is Cincinnati legit. defense straight. I just it's just it's just Eli Apple on. Them. You see what the Chiefs had on them in the first half? Yeah. I did, hear did, you. did they win? They slowed up. Did, did they, they win? Playing? Did they win? No, they didn't. All right, right then. You're right. All right. I'll tell you what though. I need like a whole separate camera for that Ramsey uh, Chase matchup that because be I yeah, be because good. I think. I think Ramsey is going is going to shadow him. It, it's it's stupid if he doesn't. Like Ramsey needs to go wherever Chase go on That's every true. play. Yeah. Period. I think he said he wanted got to. Chase he needs eleven to. balls, a, a buck seven. That's a that's a, that's a lot of catches. That's a lot of catches. On Ramsey in the Super Bowl. I ain't in the never Super seen Bowl. That. Hey, that'd be to nice. win Super Bowl MVP. Mm. Damn, you going to chase for the nah, MVP? No, Burroughs win the MVP. No, 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 no. Right? If Chase got them numbers, boy, that is going to Chase on Ramsey. Give me my boy, don't don't boy, don't you dare shine that that trophy without my yeah. name on it. I tell you what though, if Joe, you do that Joe Burrow, Ramsey, not he deserve the trophy. Yeah, Joe, Joe Burrow is not throwing away from Ramsey, so right. I mean we gonna right. he better. We gonna see he better. Nah, nah he fearless. He like see. He fearless. All it's gonna, gonna take is two picks, and he gonna go back the other way. Chase, go go somewhere else. <laughs> do not line up over there. Ramsey's not even the best coin in the league. Who's better than him? <laughs> Stop, no, bro. Trayvon. Come here, Trayvon. <laughs> but you're right. You're right. I'm I know. Riding. I'm, I'm, I'm riding. Now nah, Chase I'm might riding. Chase might put up 170 on Trayvon, but Trayvon gonna get him interception. <laughs> but Chase still gonna get him 170 because <laughs> Coop was <laughs> Coop was eating him alive when they played. <laughs> All right, man. We are gonna get did Coop at 170 against us? Did he? Uh, did what? Coop, Coop. had some yards against y'all. Well, he was cooking though. I know that much. Shit, he, he cook on everybody. Look at him. All right, first quick hits of the day. Does this era judge a man being quote unquote high value based on solely his income? Yes. And, and yeah. is that right? It's not right, but that's what they judge it off of income only. Mm. High value is income only. Then they look at the other stuff. Doesn't mean they're going to take heed to the other stuff, but you know what I'm saying? Like y'all was just telling me about this documentary with Dude. Mm hmm. You know what I'm saying? He he looked like a high value dude, and look at what, look what women did. Yeah, you know, they wouldn't do that for no. You know what I'm saying? For, for for a dude just making good money, they wouldn't do that. They they would only do that for them high value characters that they feel like high value. Get a look of high value. So yeah, it's only about money, bro. Mm. Oh, do you think the society judges quote unquote high value man based on solely income? Okay. Social media, yes. Cowboys in- didn't play the Rams, but go ahead. Hmm. Social media, yes. In person, like, in, yeah, no. In person, no. I think just real life, not necessarily. I believe in in real life is is more on how you carry yourself. Now you do have to look a certain way. Not saying you got to look the part, but you got to look decent. Just you know, be decently trimmed with decent clothes. Don't be having no. Clothes falling off your, you know, what I'm saying off yourself or dirty and things like that. Just clean, just not not because like again, not even clean cut. Just look decent, and the way you carry yourself, the way you talk to people, I think that would hold you in a different realm than everybody else because what they're used to. Now on social media, for the most part, 
yeah, his status, his money, it's, it, like that is a whole separate realm for what people deal with in reality. Mm. But social media is so it's prevalent and it's in your face every day, so it kind of gets you jaded a lot of times because people, a lot of people live on social media. Right. And it's hard for them to separate social media from real life. Now, they do intertwine at times because, like I always talk about, how women carry themselves and stuff on social media. It, guys, too. Again, guys, too. So that can get, lines can get crossed. But overall, if you're a good person, you got a decent car in person, and you can talk to them nice, treat them nice, they're going to treat you high value because you're rare. You're not going to talk to them reckless. You're not going to disrespect them. You treat them with respect, you're going to open their door. It's, 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 it's small things like that that women pay attention to. Mm. But social media definitely is status and money. Like, that's for sure. Mm. Kenny, mm. you think when society hears the term high value, they think solely of money? Uh, solely of money? Mm-hmm. Is that their first thought? Mm-hmm. Basically. I think, yeah, their first thought would probably be money. Okay, here's a here's a question because I, I agree. I think um I think money eighty <laughs> percent of most people's definition of what high value is. Yeah. But I want to ask y'all what y'all definition of high value is. What is the real definition to y'all? Me. No, I said high value. Oh, he say mid. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I just he thought said, I, he say I mid. Just it in mid value is wild. <laughs> that might be the title. <laughs> Me and value, man. So y'all just go hold me like that. <laughs> that's that's cool. Me and value, man, as well. But yeah, when when y'all uh, when y'all thinking of what high value is to y'all, like what what are the intangibles? Give me three. Give me three aspects of what a high value man really is. Money, popularity, manners. Hmm. Popularity or status, whatever you want. That's what I'm going with. That's what I would say. Right though. Is that what? No, wait, wait. Is that that what you define you. It as? Yes, what you define. Okay. It. Yes, that's what I would define it as. Money, popularity, and what else? The third one. I said manners, but manners is not a good one. Uh, <sighs> Charisma. Mm, nah, bro. No. Nah. Money has to go in there. That's gonna be top. That's gonna be. Top I, would, I would agree. Money, money, can, money, money is going. Money to go will in be there. in top three. You know what I'm saying? But I would say money, status. etiquette. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Have a decent etiquette, confidence, maybe. I don't know. That shit. I wouldn't know what the second one is. I wouldn't. Mm, 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 mm. I say. Uh, <laughs> I say uh, uh, influence being one. Okay. I say money being two. I say integrity being third. Okay. That's that's, that's one if I had to pick three, that those would be it. Um, influence, of course, women want a man that can that can make things move, make people move. Um, whether they admit it or not, that's just what it is. And men respect men who make things move, who have influence. They can you know dictate some you know dictate a situation, however it may be. Whether it's through force or whether it's through finesse or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like influence is important. Money, self explanatory. Everybody wants to be around a man with money. That's men and women. Is. We just seen men in the club push women out the way to be next to a man with money. Money Damn. just has power. It is what it is. And integrity is again, that's a you know, that's that's a man that, that stand on his word. Solid dude. Like you know you can always count on him to to stand tall regardless. He gonna be, you know, he gonna do. He does what he says he's gonna do, at all times. You know what I'm saying? He don't never play himself for no, uh, you know, bit of little bit of convenience or small come up and now I'm gonna stand on what it is that I believe in, regardless of what the consequences are. So that's what integrity is. What was your first one? Uh, influence. Integrity. Okay. Mine be yeah. Mine be. I would just. I would say money, <laughs> confidence, and influence. Mm. You said influence, integrity, money. Yeah, I would I would say confidence because if you don't have no confidence, you're not moving nobody. So at all. that is what it is. So I, yeah, confidence is definitely gonna show on the outside when you walk in the room. Whoever you're talking to, you may not be the richest man in the room, but you got confidence. You can 
definitely earned some people respect and getting the doors you need to get into. So yeah. Confidence, yeah. influence, money. I will say that. <laughs> Seen that. Okay. Good answer. Good answer. We're gonna move on to the next one. When y'all hear the term provide, <clears throat> what immediately comes to mind? What context they using it in? No, that's, just that's provide. All, that's all up to you, big dog. When you hear the word <laughs> provide, what comes to mind? I got context. I got context for that word, man. You need yeah. context? Yeah, yeah, because. I'm going to say, like I said on live um, last night, provide is you got to be everything because I'm going to provide you peace. I'm going to provide you patience. I'm going to provide you money. I'm going to provide you confidence and provide you know it's just it's so many things you can provide to someone so when i say when i hear provide it's like jack of all trades and you will come in you know how to adapt you got to be versatile you got to be able to listen it just i'm i'm providing i'm providing my time i'm providing my effort like it's provide is 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 so many different things besides money yeah Mm. it can be resources it can be bro it can be like you just stepping up doing father time, husband time, like you providing that type of peace for your family. Like it's a lot of stuff that go into that piece, that uh provide word. Kenny, you hear the word provide. As far as in context to men, what comes to mind? Uh a duty. Which is like a task, like this, like your, your duty to obligation. Yeah, obligation. That's what comes to mind. I'm obligated to provide. It's not a choice. Well, it kind of is, because you ain't got to do it for everybody. But I mean, we 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 are speaking in context of relationship, though. Okay, just for just for clarity. Mm-hmm. So yes, <clears throat> yeah. Um. Shit, I, I agree with all y'all. When when I hit provide, immediately money comes to mind. That's, that's just real. We're just going to keep it G. But, um, again, the older you get, the more wise you get. So when you are in a relationship and you understand the fact that money alone is not going to keep her, or money alone is not going to, you know, make sure that you have a happy relationship, then you start thinking about the other things that you that you have to provide. And that's the peace that y'all talking about. That's the mental stability. That's the fatherhood that y'all talking about. That's the integrity that y'all talking about. That's the guidance that y'all are talking about. We, if we the leader of the household, the guidance falls on us. That's just what it is. We got in our wife. We got in our kids. You know what I'm saying? So I think that's what pro- provide means to me. It's all of that combined into one. But again, most people write it off to money, and I feel like that's that's very ignorant. And those people typically, their relationships don't really last long. So, yeah, no, I agree. Um, dope segment, man. Let's get into advice column. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. All righty then. We got a lot of questions Damn, this week. They they, they was coming heavy. through this week. They get uh, the, they get thrown out. <laughs> they came in heavy, heavy, heavy. So what, we got two, three in us. Kenny, how many you got in you? Two, three. We'll just go four. All right. Let me see. Hold on. They supposed to be shutting down at ten. At ten. Ooh. Let me check the traffic. Check the feeder road. Yeah. Feet or not, it's still gonna be. It's gonna be too long if they if they, they shutting down ten. Shit, that's the whole guy. So there. we doing two. Let's go. It's an hour forty two back home right now, so we good for right now. Okay, we good. All right, first one from Sean, Patreon member. <laughs> Wait a minute, I lied. Uh, uh, anonymous. It's not from Sean. <laughs> we no, we 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 answered that one. That okay, one. okay. A uh, couple couple weeks back. Uh, this one is from Roman, Patreon member. He <laughs> say, what's up, crew? Hope y'all been good and what's God up? bless. What's up? Say, I just seen $10 charged for Patreon, so why not put y'all to work? <laughs> My cousin That's asked- fucked up. <laughs> That's real. <You> just donate. <laughs> <laughs> My cousin asked me, should females you dealing with, uh, not in a serious relationship, request a Valentine's Day gift? I told him no. If she do, she thirsty, unless she deserves it. Do y'all agree? 
that you're not serious with. Yeah, just a, a, a female you with. Do you feel like it's wrong of her to request a flingy? No, nah, girl. A Valentine's Day. But not ask yeah. nothing. You shouldn't request if it's just a fling. Now, if you just give her something just out to love, that's different. That's different. Mm-hmm. But her requesting, mm. I'd be like, Man, you got some nerve. So when we say requested, she'd be like, Hey, so what you give me for Valentine's? Right, right. Yep. right. Oh, <laughs> nothing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> nothing. I got my real girl. I, I got her. I'm gonna tell her the same thing I got you last year. <laughs> <laughs> no. Pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> you thought I pulled out? Huh? Oh, no. Surprise. <laughs> nah, yeah, nothing. Request no. Nah. Yeah, I would say no, man. If the relationship's not serious, you're not obligated to buy nobody nothing. Now, if you want to do it out the kindness of your heart, that's a different story. Hey, but you, you demanding do it, it, you don't exactly. get the fuck up out of here. If you do do it, you better believe she's gonna always expect you to do it out of the kindness of your heart. Yeah, what's what's fucked up about it if you do it? Then she's gonna think it's more than just the fling. Then, yep, that's true too. You know, it's like, oh, he actually got too. me a gift. No matter no what other, it is, no other man got me no yep. gift. Yep. Uh, you actually no, came no, through no. with some flowers. <laughs> hey, he no, must really can, have something for me. You can do something fly. <laughs> you can get a pack of condoms. <laughs> 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 nah, I ain't gonna do that because she gonna be using some condoms with somebody else. That's fine. Because we ain't using them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but the ones I bought, <laughs> why well, let another nigga use the, my money? Hey. That's my money. She say once you about to hit, go, dick in. you gonna hit two, three others. So why are you trying to be selfish? I didn't buy the condoms for him. <laughs> I bought them That's for crazy. me. You bought them for her. No, for me. You left. You should have left her them over me. there. <laughs> you should have left them. For she was running low. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, but it wasn't for me. Wait, what? <laughs> stash. Pee-wee. This is a stash. That was running low. That's wild. You buy a fresh box. You go to next week. She got two left. Wait a minute. <laughs> and they tore wrong, so they already opened a little bit. Ah, the holes dry. <laughs> it's over with, man. Delete my number, man. It's over oh, with. Shit. You up here playing with me? All right, man. Next one. This is from Aaron, Patreon member. <laughs> I got two uh, what's up crew This Aaron No anonymous shit I'm currently 24 Just graduated from college Working as a field engineer Making roughly 75 to 80k annually. Okay okay I recently created An annual budget And started investing Into my brokerage account As well uh, As in, in other investments account uh, Roth 401ks Roth IRA uh, Besides paying off My student loans Which is 35,000 First what advice Would you give For someone just starting Their career also, I noticed on a previous part, Trill briefly mentioned finding one's niche. How do you suggest one finds that, and how, when did you guys find your niche? Hmm, okay, first question. Um, so, bro is in, a, is in a legitimate situation from a financial perspective, but the first question he's asking is, what advice would you give for someone just starting their career? Uh, build it as in two- or three-year plan in that whatever field you in, whatever yeah. company you with. Your progressions need to be swift. I feel like, like, you have, you know, like he just said, two, three year plan, and you need to be looking for the progression. Don't be stagnant, because your bosses understand. Like when you when you stagnant, I can put more work on you without giving you more money. You know what I'm saying? So you got to always understand. I'm putting y'all under pressure. More work means more money. Get that experience and move on. Put out more resumes. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say, man. Just just maintain control. Like a lot of times you get out of college, you think, all right, I got my degree, so now I'm at the mercy of all these companies because I need a job, whatever mm-hmm. the case may be. But, again, just stay in control. What I mean by that is apply to multiple, get you multiple offers, then you make the decision there. And then just like they talking about, we, we, we signing two in a pop deals, just like Braun in free agency. Mm-hmm. Because if you stay there long enough, eventually the what you're supposed to be making compared to what you're making is going to shift in the wrong direction. Isn't it like a 50%? Missing pay if you stay at one company for longer than facts, something like, like, 30, like 30 years, years or something like mm-hmm. that. So, yeah, so you should be planning to move around. That's that's one thing you got to keep in mind. Um, it's another thing people do wrong, they get into these companies and start thinking from a loyalty perspective. Mm-hmm. There is no loyalty in the business. The pandemic should have showed y'all ain't yeah. no company loyal to you, bro. It ain't. You are expendable. 
But they want you to be loyal to them. That's not how this works, baby. Everything is a business. You know what I'm saying? I'm staying here two, three, maybe four years, and I'm gone for the experience for whatever your next tier needs. Four years should be at least be elevating. You get what I'm saying? Something like that. If you ain't, if you do stay, and if you is elevating, don't take the minimum uh, increase. Mm -hmm. They offer you ten. They really got twenty on the back end. Exactly. That's another thing. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like you got to understand this, and don't be afraid to open your mouth. Major. You know what I'm saying? Major. Closed mouths don't get fed, bro. And you shoot for the stars. You get what I'm saying? You make them come down on your number. They offering 10. Well, let me get 30. See where they go with. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that, that that's what you need to be understanding and, and working towards. Yeah, that's that's the main point I want to drive in your head, man. Don't let them happy hours fool you. Don't let them team building events fool you. Don't let that, that, that lunch with the boss. Don't let none of that fool you, bro. It ain't no loyalty in this. It ain't. You need to be looking out for you. Because if it's them or you, it's no <laughs> baby. Decision is made. That's real. Because they not even me, flinching. That's real. And that's I, anybody. That's anybody. And I definitely say take everything you learn and just really tuck it and use it to your advantage. Lay it down the line, too. Mm-hmm. Like, don't just use it for them. If you can use it outside of work, use it. Valid. Uh, next question. He says, in a previous part, I heard Trill briefly mention finding one's niche. How do you suggest one finds that, and how, when did you guys find your niche? Um, the problem with this is I, I'm not really sure which context that you using that in, but we just, I guess we just going to stay within the career situation. Um, I would say finding your niche, you do that by trying new things, trying different things. You know what I'm saying? There's so many people that went to school to get one degree, and they got out and realized, man, I don't really want to do this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Let me try something else. You know what I'm saying? So I, I think as, you know, Again, we got the the ability to do that. Goes back to the control thing that I spoke about. You should always have yourself in position to be able to shift gears, to change. Yep. To whereas, like, if something happens, you're not messed up because you already got enough money tucked to the side. You already putting resumes out there, whatever the case may be. Or you know, you didn't you didn't put yourself in position leverage wise to where it's like, okay, I don't want to do this no more, so I can leave and I'm cool. My lifestyle doesn't that doesn't change. But to answer the question, is just trying new things, bro. Mm-hmm. And eventually, something's going to feel comfortable in terms of, like, fulfillment. Because a lot of people out here working jobs is making a lot of money, but they are unfulfilled because I don't like what I do. So, you know, I'm, I'm getting big-ass checks or whatever, but every time I go into this place, it's, it's like a like a dropping mood. Mm-hmm. It's just like, damn, I got to I gotta go here again. I got to fake these highs and buys. I got to... Fake this small talk on the elevator. I got to, like, all of that. You know what I'm saying? So what good is the money that you're making if you, because you spend more time at your job than you do anywhere else. That, yep. That's real. Yep. So if I got to spend all my time up here and I'm miserable, is the I'm, money really worth it? Hey, I'm maximizing my money. I'm after my money. <laughs> if I got to spend my time up here to live how I want to live, I am after my money. I can care less what you're talking about, what the check look like, what the, what, what the raise look like. Yeah. And if I don't agree with it, I'm gone. Straight up and down. So, yeah, finding your niece, bro, is just trying new stuff. Just stay trying new things until something sticks. And another thing, something you, gonna stick. you want to leave a company high and dry. Because when it's time to fire you, they position themselves hmm. to protect themselves, put some other people in position, and then they fire you. They don't just fire you on the spot and not have nothing in order. Nah, you want to leave a company, you leave them high and dry. <laughs> yeah. Oh, another thing, too. I wouldn't say that. No. Another That's thing, just real. too. I mean, I don't, I don't agree with the high and drop, but I, 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 I do agree <laughs> I get with what you're the, saying. I do agree with the they are prepared to replace you. Yeah, it's been my fucking use them as a reference. At, yeah, it's been my fucking working at 15 years. They get rid of your ass. Have somebody new in there in three days. I've, I've seen it mm-hmm. a couple or, times. Or they had a dude in there before you even get fired. Yeah. Have Have you training? <laughs> have you training him right. Right. before they leave? Real so right. how is it wrong to leave them high and dry? Well, it's it's not. The, the leaving them high and dry means like, okay, I put in my two week and I'm I'm dipping same day. Like, no, no, no. Stand on your word. Like, leave in good terms. Right. I'm saying I may don't have to come put back in the two that. weeks. I know you are. Yeah, no, nah, no. Nah. Hey, you know what? I'm out. Yeah, nah. But what if you got that. somebody in that company that had a high position that you might need to use them as a reference? You can't do that. I don't care nothing about that. You gotta stop. They do that, bro. Because okay, okay, they could help you get into another position. They could be on a board or have I don't people care. that's in the city or something. You never know. I never had nobody help me get to my points in life. Well, hey, don't but everybody ain't like on that. your way up. Exactly. So, exactly. I'm burning everything because ain't nobody helping me. <laughs> I'm burning everything. Look but here. you better believe when I rebuild it back, everybody can eat, B. Look here, bro. I'm again. Take it. 
Ex- leave the right way, come in the right way, <laughs> no, because you never right know way. who you're going to need. But what I will say is don't do extra going out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you ain't got to do extra. Because they'll try to make you do extra. It's like, okay, yeah, I know you're leaving, but hey, train these three people before you go. Uh, 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 training is not in my job description. That's not what I can Yeah, it is. For. That's not my job description. At the very bottom. I'm not training. Other duties as assigned. Nah, uh-uh. Well, you, you know got, what? You're you got right. two weeks left. You're right. <laughs> you're right. I got two weeks of PTO left, right, don't I? <laughs> I, I need so. those right now. I'm taking those right now. I think I got a cough. <laughs> Straight up. I got two weeks PTO. I need all You that. know you got to put that in a week before. A week <laughs> no, before. I ain't got to put no week in before. I got, I got paper trail record <sighs> putting in the day of. Straight up. <laughs> but... Uh, but yeah, man. So that that's it, bro. That's it. You gonna you gonna be straight. Uh, on to the next one. It's from Ali, Patreon member. Welcome back, my boy. Welcome back, Ali. What's happening, boy? I hope you shaping up. I say, boy. Apparently, Ali done got the guy famous, what's man. Up, they, big boy, dog? they brought bro up a hundred times on the Instagram live yesterday. <laughs> All right, he says, what's up, family? You see the name. This time around, it's just to clarify for my last question. For one, y'all didn't answer my question. <laughs> what I asked was, as a man, have you ever cried silently to yourself? Uh, two, I'm yes. not 25. Yes. I just turned 23 back in October. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, on the 15th. Three, trust me, I have things that I get relief and peace from that isn't tied to people. Four, yes, smooth. My life with my mom and stepdad was cool and wouldn't trade that for anything. But on the flip, my biological father... Uh, with going over his house, I basically lived the life of the hated stepchild. And my brother got to run wild, basically, and couldn't do no wrong and got his way. But I'm not a stepchild. And during that convo I had with my father when I got that shit off my chest, basically, I asked him, why do you treat me and my bro different? And the nigga denied all allegations and said he didn't see how it was, uh, and that's what hurt me. And the fact he doesn't want to accept me as a son, basically, because he was speechless. But I just needed to vent the rest of that out from my therapy session. I wasn't uh, uncomfortable, Kenny, just not all the way comfortable. So to reiterate my question as a man, have you ever cried in silence? Y'all stay dangerous, much love from your favorite baby because, oh, and I copped that baby blue crew neck, that joint perfect for this cold-ass weather. <laughs> right. Okay. Yeah, I didn't cry in silence a few times. A few times. Definitely. When you just times. shit, sometimes you just get overwhelmed. Sometimes it don't even it don't even be intentional. Sometimes I it may, cry, it could be it could cry. be a certain song that come on. We cry yeah, nah, together. I cried, I cried along so many times in uh, California, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because I felt like my hustle was being stripped from me. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But I had other people depending on me, so I'm not a man to abandon what my responsibilities are. You know what I'm saying? So. I think I you, get what you say. You need that shit though, because you got you need some type of release. Like crying is is a is like a rinse. It's a relief, and sometimes you have so much built up tension, frustration, all types of emotions. You just don't know how to let it out, but to cry. Mm-hmm. So yeah, man, psh, I've done it plenty of times. And as soon as you cry, get that shit over with. Keep it pushing. That that's exactly what I do. I like go ahead and. Uh, I, again, like I said before, I let those emotions hit me. Like if I'm, if I know I'm gonna cry, if I feel it coming, I'm gonna go ahead and duck off a little bit for a few minutes. I'm gonna absorb it, get a couple of tears out, shake it off, and then I got, I got, I got to keep pushing because I can't stay there. I can't, you know, stay crying and ain't helping nothing. Yeah, it ain't helping nothing. So, but yeah, let that let that pressure out. Keep going, man. Yeah, no, I agree. Um, I, I definitely have. Um, see, last time I cried was when when, I, when my homie passed. Um, time for that, my other homie passed. Um, but sometimes, like, even if I don't cry, I feel, like, very, very, like, melancholy. You know what I'm saying? And and, and, and they all can tell you. I got my, my mood. Some days I'm I'm good. I'm energetic. I'm excited. Some days I just don't even want to be around people. I don't even want to look at people, talk to people. So, I mean, I, I get it. Everybody, you know, sorts out their issues or their baggage in, in, in their own way. But I say all that to say that it, it's nothing wrong with crying, bro. It ain't. At all. Um, sometimes you just got to get that out of the system. The irony is, is that when you do it, you be feeling ten times better after. Mm-hmm. You feel like it's you know a bunch of weight that then came off your shoulders in the in, in the process. So if that's your method, man, do what you got to do. Um, simple and plain. But appreciate you as always, gang. Uh, we're gonna move on to the next one. This is from Marquis. Hey, you remember? <laughs> Uh-oh, you on bullshit already. Uh, what's up, fam? I stayed true to what y'all said about not dating girls with kids. However, mm-hmm. I've been sniping. Insert gunshots. Mm-hmm. Uh, putting really? up, 
He said, I've been sniping, putting up MVP numbers. Okay. Uh, but my Welcome question <laughs> my question is, on a more serious note, I recently dialed in uh, military this past weekend. If you could go to school for one thing, what would it be? And should I buy a duplex uh, to rent out with my VA loan since I already have a house? By the way, I'm only 25. <clears throat> Okay, let me repeat the question. I would tell you, I would tell you, bro, get you a condo, Airbnb, Airbnb that bitch out. It's gonna give you way more money than that duplex. You sure? Yeah, it will. It will. It will. Okay, so what? So what you got to say about this school situation? You say you can go to school for one thing. What would it be? I would say, man, if, leverage your. If I had to go to school for one thing. Yeah, but he was in the military, right? Mm-hmm. If I'm in me, I'm just saying this is what I would do. I would leverage what I got in the military. Whatever I was doing in the military, that's what I would go to school for. You know what I'm saying? That that's exactly what I would go to school for because I know I have a one hundred times better shot in getting that job and getting a high position in that job. True. Just just off of me having the military experience. So if I couple that with a degree, I'm gonna go in making the money I want and I'm gonna go in to a position that I possibly in a sense, I don't deserve. You get what I'm saying? So that, that that's how you should be looking at it. This life about leverage, dog. It's like we see people that get positions that they they don't deserve all the time. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers come in and they be they they be goddamn a uh, building manager. They fresh out of school, never had a job, or only worked at fast food chains and all this type of stuff. Like, bro, leverage what works for you. Like like in your basket. Whatever's You know what I'm saying You can leverage enough Leverage that Now it, it's cool for you To step out And do other things That's cool But your bread and butter You leverage that Until something else Work out too You get what I'm saying Plus you in a great position 25 got your own crib You get a VA loan Get some other money Coming in You in a great position To do certain things So I would leverage What I got going on Right then and there To get me a bigger bag Or whatever you want to do Whatever It sounds like You want to chase the money So you know what I'm saying the most important thing is just leveraging what I got to get the biggest bag I can possibly get. So that's what I would do. Kenny, I should that man hmm. be be moving fresh out the military. If he going to college, what he need to be going for? And oh, he said something about buying a, a duplex with his VA loan. Even though he already owns a house, he says, and he's 25. Uh. It was a choice of what career field he should go into, not just anything, just likes. Right. I would do tech industry. Hell yeah, if I could do that. <laughs> I'd pick the tech industry. Because there's only it's, it's, it's so many opportunities out there for the tech industry. You don't even really need a degree for the tech industry. You can just get certificates, which you can still use that for getting out the military with your VA. Right. Yeah, bill and shit. Uh, but if I had to choose something that I'd go into, it would be the tech industry. Uh, as far as getting a house, adding more bills to your life. I mean, if you want Airbnb out, that's cool. I don't know how Airbnb works, but I guess it depends on your area. And then, I mean, you still got to pay for that house and still got to, when mm-hmm. shit gets broke, mm-hmm. you got to front that money. And, you know, military don't pay you that much money. Damn shit don't. I've been in there, so I don't pay you that much money. Oh, there you have it. I can't regret. I can't speak on it. I ain't, I ain't got military background, and I can't tell him what passion to chase or what field. He well, should. he didn't. He didn't ask for passion. He just said a, a field to go into. What, what would yeah. just pick a field? Oh, just a field when yeah. he's in the military. I can't, t- I can't tell him got his passion. You. Yeah, just what? 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 Yeah. I don't what degree should he pick for? I going to school, tech finances. Right now, to tech for sure. Job security. Yeah. You can get tech right now, boy. Yeah, that's fast. guaranteed. Making some money right now. All right, man. This is going to be the last one of the day. Jay Jones, Patreon member. Uh, he said, I'm listening to y'all right now, and I'm hearing Smooth argue this stand on your square point of view. Uh, I see his point, but Trill and AC, since y'all married, what if your wife says she wanted to start swinging right now? Y'all going to stand on your square? John Jones, quote unquote, Kenny ain't shit. No, I'm driving ass. That's the light skin driving. It's snowing. I'm not going to make it. <laughs> These niggas be all over. What? what? Don't, don't even make a joke again. 
Don't even don't please said. please Jay Jones. What? I appreciate the effort. But I don't know what these boys be coming from. <laughs> non driving <laughs> ass. That's wife. that light skin. He said if your wife started swinging, driving. Or said she want to start swinging. It's snowing. I'm not going. Would make you be it. good with that? Swinging oh, on swinging on him. No, oh, not no, swinging. 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 Yeah, swing girl. Fucking another oh, swing girl. I'm I mean, sorry. I missed word. it. I missed that. <laughs> Fucking it's, another man. It's see, look at you. I want a divorce. That was immediately. A square. That square. I need it done immediately. Do you want some more, some different penis? Yes, she want to go square dance right to me. Now. We get the body. All right, man. It's uh, from Rasheed, Patreon man. Fuck Rasheed, Wallace. You say what's good My OG uncles in Texas It's Rasheed Got a what's different up? type of question For y'all today I'm gonna start by telling y'all A TikTok I seen Sparked this thinking It was a black woman Talking about a vacation to Spain She detailed the trip And said Overall She would not recommend it For black people Because of the way The people over there Discriminated against black people Not gonna lie I was kind of surprised That the bullshit we go through Is more common Than just here in America Puts a big ass emphasis On quote unquote We all we got As a people With that being said Shit, I think the best we can do is start showing each other more love within our own community. Mm -hmm. So my question ain't really a question, it's a request. Can each of y'all boys shout out some black-owned businesses and companies y'all know of or mess with so we can build each other up? For sure, for sure. Uh, It can be anything, even skincare products, restaurants, dealerships. Thanks in advance. Y'all got niggas tuned into this shit like 106 in part. Keep killing shit. Appreciate that, bro. (laughs) I would say uh, crew season. Uh, (laughs) Crew season. Dope company, man. I heard about them. And... Crew season. <laughs> Velvet Noir. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Rod. Filthy Dre. Filthy. I got a Filthy Dre. Right now. Yeah. Y'all know Dre. He be on the pod. Yeah, locker room. And Shout out to Sid. Sid from locker room. Right. Smooth, you got some? Oh, your boy, your uh, your chef? Yeah, for sure. OG. Uh, yeah, OJ. Shout out to uh, yeah, OJ, my bad. Shout yeah. out to bro. Solid. He all the way solid. If you need your food done, he's actually really, really certified, certified in all styles of cooking. You know what I'm saying? Like, so if you Let's if you need somebody to come to your crib it. to cook some food for you, he he can bring up the whole menu for you, mm-hmm. have it ready for you. So Yeah, shout out to uh Misha, Lara Marcel, body body shaping, body yeah, Misha contouring. doing her thing. Cooking, killing shit out there. So if you need your body done in any type of way, ladies, males too. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Y'all can go see Misha, man. Yeah, Matt right. go get his, his ass left this <laughs> other week, right? Get an ass lift. <laughs> Oh my god Hey shout, shout out to Skin Tail Soul Tail That's my, my sister oh, Ed, Ed yeah. you need yeah. Okay okay You need to get yeah, your skin I just, right I just seen Go that Go check out uh, Just seen that um, uh, hey. old, old girl that's doing our uh, stuff What's her name? Candy, oh, what's her name? Lady, uh, oh Mika Yeah shout out to uh, LaMika um, that's, that's 210 Candle Company Meet the Maker That's her name? Yeah Okay Yeah shout out to uh, Instagram uh, Oh, you some fitness Shout out So on the school of fitness Yeah, yeah. Shout out yeah. So on the school of fitness Don't waste your money <laughs> Check the page I got the resume Check the page If you want that fat To grow back <laughs> You want that fat To grow back <laughs> That's some wild shit. <laughs> fitness coming to help you gain weight. That's some wild shit. What other black businesses we know? Man? Damn, I know, I know, I'm forgetting some, and they and they gonna kill me when they hear this. My boy Trent, Trent, Trent J. Check the DMs. Let Trent J. He a uh, Trent J. Gourmet. He a chef as well. Mm. He went to PV too. PV. Um. Man, shout out to, to Meg, Meg Yup Photography. Mm-hmm. Yep. Meg Photography. Meg photography. Check it out. Oh, right. cool, cool, cool. oh, what's Sheridan? Sheridan got something, huh? Yeah, yeah. Sheridan um lingerie line. That's uh un, that's untamed. untamed. Yeah, untamed lingerie. Check that out. How do you say that name? Um Equipoise. Equipoise. Oh, females yeah. which, uh get your uh situations right. Yes, yeah, slip <laughs> Shout out to Cole. The, the situation. Sweet and slippery. Drink tea, get your your uh, pH and all that stuff down right, mm. right uh, to where it need to be at. Mm. Drink oh, more shit. water. Damn, let me. I gotta look through the DMs. Let me see. Uh, That's a hell of a question. We never got asked that before. Hello. Hmm. Not free pub, but we gonna keep on. Oh yeah, man, my boy, life on ice, man. Y'all boys go go uh, check out Eskimo Slop. It's my dog. Dope clothing line, as y'all see me rocking this stuff. I don't even wear other people's stuff like that, but. Yeah, shout out, shout out to bro. What about uh, be something with uh, what's the name? Uh, oh yeah, 
from PA. Oh, they got a uh, Tasty's Daiquiris. If you live mm, on the north side, be something. by the Beltway. That's black owned, man. They got some real bad look. Mm-hmm. They got some real good daiquiris. Black owned uh, spots. Let me see. Uh, uh, or you could just cash at me. I don't have no services to offer you. <laughs> just give me the damn money. <laughs> uh, I got just another one. The money. <laughs> just give just, me the just money. Give me the cash. <laughs> Inspired Athletics. It's um, mm. female athletic wear. Oh. That's another one. Oh. But yeah, matter of fact, man, I think I think we need to make that a make that a segment, man, um, on here and start getting some of these people that we highly respect, our dope ass businesses, man, and and just chop it up with them for like thirty minutes, get their take on some relationship questions. Oh, what's that bag that we nation. got, Kenny? That black on luxury bag we got. Oh, Tote and Carry. Tote and Carry. No, that's not Tote and Carry. That's uh, no, yeah, that's, that is Tote and Carry. That's Tote and Carry. Mm-hmm. Tote and Carry. Yeah, okay. Shout real out luxury man. bags, man. Go get you one. Yeah, yeah man. Shout out to Crew Season. Of course. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to us. Oh we'll shit, be bet you sold out, goddamn! Is it sold out? Damn near. You got like, you got like three left. Yeah, you, I better <laughs> buy the last three. <laughs> you got like right now for sure. They move. I don't man. care what size. They could be an XXXXXXL. <laughs> Bye. Say you have it. That's your blanket for the night. <laughs> Facts. If your man ain't holding you tight enough, and he we ain't will. warm enough, we will. That's what it will. It was cold outside. <laughs> Crew season is cold. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, on that note, man, y'all boys, shout out to our social media, things of that nature. SMUV underscore underscore the flyest nigga in town, the dark one, the black lacquer. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Got that wonder boy. Deadly fog. <laughs> Deadly fog. Come on. I'm all through the draws. Uh, everything, man. You know what I'm saying? Follow me on everything. Uh, Smooth the motherfucking level, bitch. The, the, the dean is back. You done? I'm done, man. I got to get my quotables out there. <laughs> <laughs> so we're underscore fitness, all platforms outside of YouTube. But yeah, you know, TikTok, IG, Twitter, all that. Follow your boy. KT underscore good, Rich. Y'all know what it is. Sexiest nigga alive. We don't Stop know. It, we don't know what it is. We don't know what it is. Everyone's got to go too far. Um, D Trill AC, man. You forgot know you what bid. Is, my bad. What you <laughs> what <laughs> <are> you say? <laughs> Kitty. Yeah. Mid value. You forgot. Oh yeah. No. <laughs> World class mid value leader. <laughs> mid value. Hey, the mid value leader. <laughs> <laughs> it's like ninety eight spots in the high class. Oh my god. I'm at, I'm at spot ninety nine. <laughs> That's, that's I'm shit. right there I'm at the top of the big class though. Mid tier D Trill AC man Everywhere oh, y'all He right at the point Where he got the most leg room In the, the plane that's Yeah, yeah I, get, I get to stretch out A little bit further <laughs> He on the emergency aisle <laughs> Right in the middle of the plane you know, I'm, about, I'm, about a, I'm about to overweight seats <laughs> no, That's called Get, get your big ass up off <laughs> You know they used to have Reggie And an OG Kush Yeah Kitty like, his, Kitty like the fire All right, Reggie you, yeah. Y'all done yeah. 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 went far enough I'll try to wrap this up bro. He like, I'll try to he die, like the top tier yeah. Reggie Hey hey I had some regular Reggie <laughs> I was going along for a little bit That was two for five Niggas got this right here I ain't gonna beat you Two for ten Oh shit Hey man We out of here man uh, well, What's this right here oh, No 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 It's 15 to grab You can't handle it <laughs> Hey Make sure y'all follow All the cool season pages Keep liking Commenting Subscribing All of that Make sure y'all tap in uh, The sweaters The merch Crewseasonpodcast.com We got some new stuff Coming for y'all Next week Next week uh, So Be ready for that um, I think that's everything Like I said We got like three sweaters left If I'm mistaken Three or four I think one is an XL, one is a large, and two two X's, if I'm not mistaken. So that's all we got. And by the time y'all hear this, they might be gone. But if they, you know, whatever, just go check it out. CrewSeasonPodcast.com. We appreciate all the support. Shout out to our Patreon. And to get up out of here, we're going to play a record uh, from Devon Terrell. It's called Popular.